Hold on. Are you following the podcast? If not, hit that subscribe button. And this is Live from LA. Oscars years ago, but you know, two pictures on. Okay. But I did How hear did about it the next about? morning. I when, mean, when you saw it. So my personal stance is like, and then when you got whatever uh, extra information around it, how did you feel about it? Did you or did you feel any different? I didn't feel any different. In my mind, I was like, that man tired of y'all playing with his family, (laughs) and Chris Rock just got the brunt of everybody. Like that man, and don't get me wrong. Personally, I always take the stance of them people ain't giving me none of their money, so I don't really care. But what I will say is, people are human, and you can't really tell him not to react when every day, every week, he and another meme, because his wife out here just Jada in another realm. And you know, I love her, but she just on some other shit, and like, in the same breath I like a lot of the context afterwards they was like if you read his book he tries to hold that back and it got something to do with him not protecting his mom and all that all I'm saying is y'all just can't make people feel laughing stock all day and think there ain't gonna be no repercussions for that a lot of people went through a, the oh that was the wrong time and please who who are you trying to impress do you really care because those white people don't give a fuck about us they never did they never will I don't understand who are we holding the standard for and at this point since he's already a millionaire I don't think he's worried about losing any rules and roles or anything <laughs> like, like he's 50 but you know to each of them oh, damn disappoint me kid it's ridiculous I why what? Okay, I mean yeah. some people would want to say oh it was the wrong time and please no it wasn't <clears throat> so wherever this. you at if you're in a restaurant with your old lady and a man disrespect her right there you ain't gonna wait till you catch him outside when he leaving the building leader you gonna check him right there yeah they were in a yeah. formal setting but ain't no Pull him to the side. Sir, you disrespect my wife on live TV. Now I about to disrespect you on live TV. He just... Chris Rock just happened to get it. What he been trying to give the world for months. This... This this where... This what me and Kia gonna differ at, y'all. This what me and Kia gonna differ. A, l- a little bit. A little bit. You know what I mean? Now, first and foremost, if somebody crossed the line... No one can determine if your line has been crossed but you. Right? Someone can say a joke towards you, and it's, and it's not about the Will Smith situation per se. I'm about to I'm about to lead into that. If I can say a joke about you and I might think it's funny, but you might not think it's funny, and you might think it's disrespectful, it crossed the line and you have to do something right. about that. I can't really tell you that, hey man, you gotta lighten up that one nothing. I can't tell you that. In all honesty. Whatever crossed right. the line with you is your line and can't nobody else dictate that now the issue the issue with that though is going to come up is not keeping that same energy right so going off what you said right if someone talked about your your spouse or whatever if you're in in the restaurant let's say let's say me me and my lady is in the restaurant and I feel like a dude is being out of line to a woman not my woman to a woman I'm gonna say something. Mm-hmm. That already crossed the line. I feel like it's not gonna take me to say something to him for for him to say something to my my lady if for certain things, you know what I mean? Uh, the regular relationship, you know what I mean, troubles and they arguing with I'm not talking about stuff like that, but you know what I mean? But like a dude might be in there trying to fight a lady. I'm not gonna be like, oh, since that's not my woman, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Mm-hmm. That crosses a line with me. So I would say something. You know what I mean? I never said we wouldn't have to hop in to jump on him, but I'm leaving. Hey, nah, man. We're not doing all that, man. Like, y'all go y'all separate corners or whatever the case is. I, I, I can't watch that happen. If that crosses a line with my core, it's not going to take him to do it to my lady for me to stand up and say something. I say that because 
comedians have been the host of majority of the war shows for like the past 15 to 20 years mm-hmm. since the, the 2000s majority of the 2000s and they their job is to to break up the the, the seriousness of the show relax the crowd engage the crowd have fun they they incorporate the crowd into the show by telling these jokes right that I could say is harmless or whatever the case is but again it is your line for you to dictate <clears throat> what it is the problem is when people when comedians uh, I forget the, the, the lady name and Chris Rock uh, Amy Schumacher she, she was the, the other comedian host when they mm-hmm. made jokes into the crowd we'll laugh they the laugh right Mm-hmm. I don't feel crazy, right? So let's say me and my girl is in the crowd, right? You and your boo is in the crowd. Leo Leo down there is a listener. He was in the crowd too, right? <clears throat> if a comedian is on stage, <clears throat> excuse me, and he make a joke <clears throat> to me, <clears throat> ooh, in my throat, and he make a joke to, to you, me and my girl laugh. He make a joke on your man. Everybody's still laughing at you, including me and my girl. You make a joke towards Leo. We laugh. As soon as he looked at me, he said, ah, right, man, nah, you can't joke over here. But we off limits. I don't like that type of stuff. Do you really think it's cool if I sit in the crowd and I can laugh at everybody else's pain, but say mine is off limits? But I'm in the crowd with everybody else. How does that work? Because those are your boundaries. That's the thing. Like, you can't, just like you said earlier, you can't tell nobody where to set their personal boundaries. So you keep, no, but that's I can laugh that's at whatever I want to laugh at. But, and that's cool. but that's they did the say right later though. that him that's and Chris Rock had right. words before about making his family the butt of his jokes. But this was, the, the, earlier that same show, Amy Schumacher made, made a joke. I mean, not Amy Schumacher, um... Uh, Damn, what's the Amy Schumacher? No, no, no. That was a... Uh, dang, what's the actor? Regina King? She made a joke about them being swingers. They both laughed. But that's been a running joke for them for years. For, so, so, so Will is, Smith... So when you watch the video... Quote, unquote, bald, she's never had hair. She's always had still, a shortcut, which we say is bald. Well, this time she, she did really hair. hair joke her but, entire career. But she just came out a couple of years ago with that hair thinning out thing. But Will was that. fine <laughs> until he saw that she was upset. And my thing is, you can't see with the current times, most women, black men don't protect us. That That's the argument, right? So you can't say they're not protecting us and then tell him like you want to circumvent how he protects you. That's how he chose to protect his wife. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying it's not. But okay. <clears throat> but what I was saying about the crowd situation right, is now I'm. I'm saying I'm going to feel some type of way. Me as Leonard Anderson, if you gonna mm-hmm. sit there in your seat and laugh at him talking about how fat my wife is, so if you laugh at him talking about how bald he is but then think that can't nobody joke about you though but you sitting over there laughing at us like this shit funny it don't work like that life don't work like that of course at not at that point in time or you shouldn't be at this type of show sitting front row with a comedian on stage telling jokes why the fuck is you here why are you here and you know how this goes right cool now now let's say now let's say the people say oh man I don't think he went too far okay cool he didn't went up. He went up there and, and slapped, slapped Chris Rock. Right? He mm-hmm. would say he didn't. He didn't go too far. He felt the type of way. If Chris, if Chris Rock would have pulled out a gun and shot him, would Chris Rock have been going too far for defending himself? No. That see, here's but my thing. Said he if Chris Rock had bust his ass afterwards, I wouldn't have screamed either. Because you can't never no, no, tell somebody how to react. Would have been like, ah, uh, nah, man, that was too far. What would you mean too far? Now, what do you That's mean too far? Because we just That's said why things deserve a reaction, right? Every, for every action, there's a reaction. Man. So, like, Will Smith chose to get up out of his seat and slap the piss out of Chris Rock. No, if but, Chris Rock had to slap his ass back, here's, could here's he? The difference, could he though. 
if Chris Rock was on the street and this is outside of a comedic platform, I understand everything Will Smith did. Mm-hmm. Now, I, I really, I don't, still don't respect the slap. I'll tell you why. I still don't respect the slap, but you putting your hands on, I respect that. You putting your hands on the comedian at a comedic show, damn near, is for telling a joke. For being a comedian, is crazy. They're paying this man a lot of money to stand on stage and tell jokes, and then you getting mad at the joke. I'm not saying you can't get mad. Not saying that at all. You can feel some type of way about anything in the world. That's 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 your right to. But to mm-hmm. get on stage at a joke for a comedian who's being paid to be a comedian is crazy to me. It's crazy to me. That's like me going to find a rapper after I listen to a song because he said a lyric that I didn't like. Hey man, I'm gonna smack the fuck out of this dude. For what? For, for rapping, you rap in a way that I didn't like. See, you gotta listen. Not every joke is gonna hit that hard or be as funny or whatever the case is. Not to mention, to me, the joke wasn't even a bad joke. He compared you to to, to a woman who was like the first Marine. And she wasn't bald due to any type of natural issue. You know what I mean? Like, she really had to cut her hair to get into the military. That's like me right. comparing a woman to like a Harriet Tubman or, you know what I mean, an author, a writer or some shit like that. Like, he didn't compare you to like a crackhead or some shit. Right. Compared you to, to an outstanding woman. And you know what I mean? It was, it was, again, it was, a, it was a slight joke, but if you want to take a joke to it, you're free to do so. But as far as I know, if you open hands slap, slap people, back in the day, nigga, that meant a duel to the death. Somebody had to die. You had to die. Right, you can't so, just walk up and slap a grown man and think that you can walk back off and it's going to be cool. No. But that's what he allowed to happen. Or what, or what to do. No, I'm not blaming Chris Rock on that. I, I'm just talking about the action right now. We're just about he open hand slap <laughs> a grown man. Right. It should have yeah. went left when you open hand slap a, a grown man. That's, that's a violation. That's a violation. You know what I mean? But, that's almost like 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 spitting on somebody. At least in, in a man, I don't know how it is with a, in a with women. You know what I mean? But to for a man to open hand slap a man is not gangster. Like it's just it's like, bro, you you did not make you it bitch home. about me. At, at, yeah, <laughs> like that's my granddad would say. Then. Like you just let this man um, bitch slap you. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So but yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think that was handled all wrong. And and again, it he, he as you said, he laughed. He, he clearly laughed at the beginning. He was <laughs> leaning back in the chair and all types of you having a good ass, a good ass chuckle. Yeah. I mean, you got all the stories afterward. They was like, oh, he was finishing off the laugh from the previous joke. Will Smith was laughing. And when he recognized that his wife was upset. So, me being me, I was like, they done had a conversation about Will not defending her. Like, that was my first thought. Because after you saw it, I was like, well, shit, he been laughing. I thought it was funny. But they had a conversation about her sensitivity to the matter. And I figured, like, once he recognized that she was upset, that was his moment to be his wife's knight in shining armor. I just think that's all that was. Because at the end of the day, (laughs) like, he didn't think about it and none of those things. Because if he really cared, he may rub necks or rub shoulders with those people every day but at the end of the day he is a black man and that was evident the minute he was outside of that box they created for his ass to fit in he needs to give his Oscar back they need to suspend him after after he did this this is the mood you in right keep my wife's name out your fuck that's the mood you in is he gonna go find Mm -hmm. August Alcina yeah, and then crying. No, he not. But at the end of the day, oh, say, he said he they were on a break. Huh? No, but he just said, keep my wife's name out your mouth. Right. That was, that was a simple statement. Don't talk about my wife's name. This man got a whole book going to come out now. After the slap shit happened, oh, I got a whole book coming out. And, I, and he put out a new song with your wife's name in his mouth. Oh, you talking about August? <laughs> yeah. He got a new book coming right. out called Entanglement. About You're right. Situation. And he got a new song coming out about that situation. Chris Rock wasn't even talking about that situation. Had nothing to do with that. You got a man actively. Because this is this is really what was the emotion that's on your chest really surrounds that situation. Right. And that's why that's why I said, like, all that was is Chris Rock was getting the brunt of what he wanted to give everybody else. 
That energy was in full Chris Rock. That's why he got to pay energy. for that. Because <laughs> Tony Rock said, if he catch Will, man, it's on site. Tony Rock just doing that to make himself relevant because he don't even look like he can fight, but whatever. Now, I don't think none of them can fight, but. <laughs> but they I mean, like, it's like Chris Rock like about to collect a check. <laughs> I surely believe like that Chris Rock about to collect a check, but. I mean, I personally. Oh, hold on. That, we got. Oh, you want to play the comments? Yeah, we we going to go to the, uh, go to the queue after this. Go ahead. I said Chris Rock definitely about to collect a check. But I mean, I don't... Me personally, I just feel like he reacted. And now for every action, there's a reaction. And now you got to deal with the consequences of what choices you made. And sir, now you about to take away from that big old bag. <laughs> because you chose to slap this man on national TV. But I just was not for all the conversations of a... He chose the wrong place, da 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 Now, I definitely agree with you with him. Keeping that same energy with everybody else. But... If he fight all this, they'll be like, oh, he fighting a child, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying, like, if we protect no, your wife, protect your wife well, 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 but... well, well so now, right after it happened, I don't know if you've seen, like, other comedians. Other comedians did, like, shows and interviews. They was calling, they was calling Jada bald-headed whores and all type of shit. Oh, comedians yeah, absolutely. Mad. So now, absolutely. if you don't go slap, if you don't go slap them to what, though, Will, you gonna look like a pussy. Cause you gonna slap the one motherfucker who, who people who, think in a comedic whoever, realm don't like. Who in the world views Will as a tough guy? Uh, Will, I guess. Views Will <laughs> as a tough guy. <laughs> exactly. So no, uh, look, I I'm just going off the statement. I'm just going off the statement he made. We keep my wife's name out your mouth. Out your that fucking mouth. Yeah, but. I know they had words and beef for like years now, but. Will's not gonna slap anyone else. He made some choices, but you know, I still watch his shows. So. <laughs> you know, you know Will's gonna slap nobody. They, they, they gonna somebody gonna whoop Will ass. Hold on, let's, let's, get, let's get to the to the queue right quick. Hold on one second. Man, at the end of the day, Will Smith acting like a straight buster, straight buster by doing that. Anybody knows it's a joke. The man even tried to soften up the blow by saying, Jada, I love you, and did the G.I. Jane joke. Big fucking whoop, man. Anybody want to come to her defense? Oh, everybody knows about her alopecia and all that. Man, in my personal opinion, she looked goddamn good still. That girl looked fired. And the man was laughing, hee hee, ha ha. And then all of the blue, he just switches up. Nah, he wrong for that. All of the motherfucking Tucker brothers or Chris, the Rock brothers should whoop Will Smith's ass one by one. Oh, not one by one. <laughs> I know, they got to jump in. <laughs> It'll be better. <laughs> I jump you at the same time, man. You know, it's like 10, 10, 10 Rock brothers or something like that. It's like 10 of them. They almost like the Wayne. Uh, I still don't believe they can fight. I just feel like right now Tony using that as his yeah, way to be relevant. God damn. But no, 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 no not, not per se Tony. You know what I mean? But uh, just in general, it, it, it's a lot of rock brothers. I own Tony is the only one I've seen so far that I've seen say something about it. Uh, but he could be serious. He could be playing. He, he could have said that from an emotional standpoint at the time. You know what I mean? That's really how he felt. Had some shit on his chest, and that's how he came out. You know what I mean? That don't mean he will mm-hmm. fight. Some people are throwing the motherfuckers like some serious, but they really, you know what I mean? They just frustrated. They probably ain't gonna, I know a lot of motherfuckers are like, man, he ain't gonna fight you, bro. But man, he was yelling, and he looked like he was fighting the end because he was pissed off. He had to chill in his chest, man. He going through something. <laughs> um, but but to that soldier, and we about to get right right to your comment, uh, Georgie, uh, with to your audience. Off that soldier, this is why I don't like the alopecia thing. When people say, "Oh man, but she going through some serious alopecia," I'm like, "Damn, nigga, she dying? Is that like cancer or something?" I don't think it is. But let's put that to the side. Now, comedians wh- make make jokes on fat people who probably suffer from obesity. Obesity is way more serious than alopecia, but you would sit there and laugh at the fat person who's obese. But we can't laugh at the at the person with alopecia. How's that make sense? Because people pick and choose when they won't be angry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's why I say certain excuses you, you, you can't use. 
it, it can't be. That's why I say it's the same energy because now we're just making an excuse for people that we like. You know, right. that, you know what I mean? Like we just finding ways to try to make something seem easy or make make it seem like it wasn't bad or whatever. You making you making excuses. You know what I mean? Because if again, Chris Rock would have stood up there and said something about a a fat person who was obese, Will and Jada would have laughed. And then when Jada get a balding joke, it it have been oh man, that's something serious she going through, man. She going through alopecia. And what if I was a fat nigga? Like, hey man, nigga, I'm damn near dying, nigga. They cut my foot off every time I'm from a piece of these nigga, diabetes type two the whole nine. But you just laughed at me, so we laughed at each other, pain or, or not? You know what I mean? I, I accepted mine, but I expect to laugh at other people too while I laugh at myself. If you can't laugh at yourself, you shouldn't come outside. That's fact. I'm not saying everything is a joke. I'm not saying that. I mean, yeah, there's, 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 there's like, certain levels. Of, is, like he made people. his choices, and she turned around and make him look even more stupid because she said, "I don't need protecting." Yeah, and we we gonna get on that too, kid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we, gonna, we, gonna, we gonna get on that, that on that bullshit. Like, I leave her ass come, right at that damn red table because, but you tripping. Man. But yeah, I know, man, and I ain't dating Gina, and I ain't got well money, so there's that. Yes, yeah, sir, nephew. It's a lot of motherfuckers right now dead about that motherfucking slap. <laughs> man, listen. Listen, man. You got to choose how you address people. There, there's always things, you know what I mean? And, and I feel like maybe... I, and again, I'm not saying he, he thought this through when he did what he did. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he... Because clearly... In the open hand slap, I don't think he was clearly in his right. His whole action, he wasn't in his right mind. This is what I believe. I don't know this. Thing. Right, and then he immediately cried after. I'm like, okay, sir, like stand in it. But he, but then he apologized to the award, but he didn't apologize to Chris. So it's almost like you was kind of standing on what you were standing on. Well, Which, I hey, think he is standing on what he's that? standing on because it's said now, and I don't know because. I feel like he apologized like... on Instagram <laughs> in, 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 a, in a long text. Now, I don't believe. Yeah, it but Rock. it still but... wasn't directed at Chris Rock. He just apologized to his fans. But later, it was said that him and Chris Rock been beefing for years. Cool beans. I just felt like, you know, if he really, really, really was remorseful, he would have apologized to Chris Rock that night. But Chris Rock ain't say no more about it. I'm pretty sure the people who go to his shows that he currently running, they'll hear about it. But we won't. Well, Chris came out and said he not he not willing he not willing to speak on this is not verbatim. He had a statement out there to the effect that he's not willing to speak on it until his until his like pockets get right or until like whatever comes up financially. So I don't know. Yeah, but then the his um, publicist obvious. said that he didn't he say that. Uh. His tickets did go up, so, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe somebody's going to pay him for a show, you know what I mean, that he might be kind of talking about, kind of, sort of, uh, talking about tickets, you know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? You know what I mean? Maybe there's a legal situation going on to where he can't talk about it that we don't know about. Well, I'm pretty sure he's going to sue him. So, like, I, feel like I have no we, doubt in my mind. We've got a band from the Oscars. Do you feel like that's enough? The police also stated that they can they can proceed and uh, arrest Will uh, without Chris Rock testifying or pressing charges. And see, and that's the thing about America. How the fuck? It's a personal situation. He didn't interrupt nothing, and you don't sign no disclosure to be in the um to be at the Oscars. My thing is, you talked earlier about keeping the same energy. Then they need energy. Then they need to go back and arrest. All them white people who've been disrespectful throughout the years of, of the Oscars. That white man assault Halle Berry, Halle Berry to kiss the other lady in the mouth. The man tried to run up on stage and attack the Native American lady. Now we gonna go back and pull these filing charges. They never want to file charges when they, they have shit to do with the bullshit they have going on. But the minute there's some black body, then all of a sudden they need to interfere. They done ban his ass but that's my thing. Black people always want to be a part of some shit white people got going on. That's never my story. I don't care that much. I just need you to sign this paycheck until I'm making my own paychecks. That's it. <laughs> because 
a couple of years ago, we was boycotting the Oscars, right? So yeah. now Will, all Will of Smith a sudden, and Jada was boycotting the Oscars until right. we got nominated. So, and now they're there. <laughs> exactly. So why do you care? Like enough money in America where they can make their own award show for black people, for black actors. At the end of the day, people say what they want, but America is old white money. Those award shows are about old white people. It's not for us. They get on stage. They lie about who win best picture. Talk about they got the wrong card. You ain't switch out that card till somebody else got on that stage and brought up another card. Please don't play with me. Now I, the rest of us is blind too. Like they shouldn't have even been there. But they're there. That happened. You banned. Those are the choices you made. So these are the consequences. But that's just me. I just don't. There a lot of us try to be a participant. I don't care to be a participant. Like I could take it. I've been talking to my daddy like a week ago and I tell him, I say, I'm so thankful that I was born in 86 and not before. Because if y'all asked my ass to vote for segregation, I sure would have been <laughs> against it. Because like, let's stay this way. Because they don't care. We see that every day. They do not care about us. You got 5% of them who are actually treat humans like humans but the other 95% don't care and we always trying to participate and get in or fit in what they got going on make your own you got enough money to do so then that shouldn't have happened you won't have nobody else writing Chris Rock badass jokes nobody tripping off your wife but your wife put your business in the street so can you really be that mad y'all live y'all life out loud until too many people got commentary on it then it's a problem. So, you know, he slapped him. Chris Rock should dig in his pocket. I would. I'll beat his ass. Either or. But, <laughs> I'm just saying. I ain't saying the man deserved to get slapped. But I am really policing will reaction to his wife being upset either. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we, we finna, uh, we finna uh, go into the comments. Uh, Disco got an audio, and then we're gonna go into this the actual relationship bullshit that they that they portray. <laughs> All right, Will Smith is is probably that man need to be on suicide watch. Somebody be watching this man. Man, listen, we, we finna get Possibly. into it. <laughs> hold, hold on, <laughs> we finna get into, it. get into it. All right, hold on, Reese. Coming to you live from the Dominican Republic. Y'all I'm still talking about this bullshit? Man, let Will Smith in his whole die. Just just let it go. <laughs> Wait, I'm jealous about this April? DR. You might want to take that back. Because if we were here this, this podcast, man, he might come for you. Slap the fuck out of Right. Here. He might. You, might you know, he might want to. Yeah. He out here slapping, man. <clears throat> yeah. So, Okay. Because a lot of people who are on uh, let's, let's say let's say side for like a better word the term side blame Jada for her um, indirect part in it like oh she rolling her eyes she probably said something to she let's let's this this is all on Will's shoulder all right this is this this is this is Will Will is in the fucked up in the fucked up space clearly I don't know why. It's me being me. I actually don't know why he's in with he's even with this woman. Honestly, I don't know why he's with Jada Pink. To me, and I don't know him personally by any means. I would assume she's actually beneath Will Level, like way beneath Will Level, by far. Even in 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 looks, career, status, money, the whole nine, like everything. I couldn't tolerate a woman who I would look at like that to a degree and then you feel like you can get away with this bullshit that you putting me through or putting us through and then expect me to have to keep having your back in certain situations. 
You just said like, okay, going off what you just said earlier. She she went out and said, I don't need nobody to defend me. Bitch, when August Alcina came out and exposed you in this motherfucking song, bitch, you had me fly halfway across the country. I was in Europe filming the movie to come sit at your motherfucking red table talk to defend you. Will, come here. Come tell these people that we went in a relationship. Why? So how you gonna double back and then say, after the Christmas, I don't need nobody to defend me. Why the fuck was I on Red, red Table Talk defending you then? Right. I just, no. <laughs> I don't know why he love his wife. I'm not gonna get into that with you. What I will say is, everybody loves somebody, right? And you never know the ins and outs of people's personal life beyond what they show you. And I think at some point, he was really, really affectionate and she was a different person. But to watch her now, like the now, if it's like a big show with some shit I want to hear about, then I'll go watch Red Table Talk. But the little bit that I do catch of her. Like, she 50 still finding her fucking self. She don't even know who she is. So, <laughs> I just feel like, at this point, he just was like, well, we don't been married this long. We got these kids. Let's just thug this out. Because, like, she just keep embarrassing him. She always got some shit going on. Like, I personally like, for instance, my boyfriend. The minute I took our business to the public, the man would probably disown me because he's, he's, As he just, <laughs> he's just like he don't do social media none of those things like I don't even like I personally but this is a personal belief like bad things oh shit is great over here because I don't I don't feel like I'm gonna disclose that to my girlfriends to my family especially not my crazy ass daddy none of those things but we don't really have a lot of bad moments. He's stubborn, I'm stubborn. We three days apart. But, like, you know, so we be into it about things that I don't want to do and he want to do and vice versa. But, like, bad moments? Like, if we were to go through some horrible shit that I'm going to get over, I'm never disclosing. So, I just feel like her or August should have shut up. But she got enough money or she should have had enough willpower to be like I'm not even addressing this low ass boy like but I just feel is, like that's the stand she could have took but this this is what I got out of the situation right as far as what, the, the end of part of what you just said when it comes to August Alcina right this is what I got out of the situation when, when Will had to fly back to America to do Red Table Talk <clears throat> on her behalf is August Alcina between the both of them they decided this. August Alcina is a friend of Jaden Smith, right? Their right. son, right? And he was going through some mental health issues. This, this, this is not me saying this. This is what was said. It's everything that that was pretty much taken from the red table talk, right? Mm-hmm. Besides, he's Jaden Smith's friend. That that that's posted elsewhere. You can find that that they friend. Um. He was going through some mental health issues and like some financial issues, you know what I mean? Uh, with himself, with his music, you know what I mean? Money, whatever, what have you. They invited him to their house, I guess, to stay for a period of time. I don't know, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and that's where he was. It, they, they didn't really say how long he was there or he left or anything. Next thing you know, it kind of cuts to Will had to go overseas for filming purposes, right? So, so now I'm like, hold on. So, you, so will you, you and your wife? Because <laughs> you could play this. We wasn't really fucking with each other on terms like that, but y'all still stayed in the same house and probably slept, slept in the same bed. So I don't get, I don't get that. What's what's we we really wasn't rocking with each other like that, and you in an open fucking relationship or open marriage? Well, he said he had so moved I, out. Come on now. The, now the, I don't know, but he said he had moved out. That he spent the money and built. It said they invited him to the house. So if you don't live there, how the fuck you inviting them there? If you will. 
This is what they said on Red Table Talk. We invited him over to the house. So he can, you know what I mean? He can stay and help. We can we can help him. So when you saying this, we, 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 it's like you together when y'all doing this. Not even saying in a relationship, but clearly y'all are together in some way, shape, or form when y'all doing this. Because y'all keep saying we. Like 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 y'all from fr- uh, France or something. Niggas speaking French. We. Well, we it wasn't a really her. y'all saying we. It was her saying we and Jada. I mean, what was shaking his head, but... <laughs> Then, but that's what I'm saying. But you, but you hand signed to it, so you co-signing. You co-signing the bullshit, right? This is the position you. This is what I'm saying. It's kind of it's, it's really on wheel because you co-signing a lot of this bullshit that you in. So you got a better responsibility. You can't just it can't. We shouldn't just be not by we. I'm not mean you. A lot of people that want to quote unquote side with Chris Rock can't be putting shit on Jada when Will is progressing the situation forward because he cannot fuck with her. And I've said this plenty of times. I guarantee you, Will can find a thousand or thousands of Jada Jada Pinky. I bet I, I would bet my own money that she can't find another Will Smith. I'm willing to. Bet oh, of course she, not. That she ain't gonna find another Will Smith. Uh, with that said, it's a lot of weeks. Okay, you back overseas or you overseas, family, whatever the case is. The one that you associate you associating yourself with, right? Mm-hmm. In the house that you spent this money for, that you that going beyond that, or before that, that he say, you know what I mean, he spent this money on this house, to had his this to buy this land, to had his house built, built from scratch. Y'all invited this man over to this house. It's not like back to back thing. This is just just the, the house that they live in is this information that was put out a long time ago. That Will bought that, uh, bought the land, and he had that house built, quote unquote, for Jada. And then they had an argument before or a debate back and forth about did he really had a house built for Jada, or did he, is he just saying that? You know what I mean? But whatever. But so I'm assuming the house means something to y'all, to you, to her, to y'all. Right. You invite the man over. He has mental health issues. He's also a friend of your son, and a woman that legally tied to you as your wife has sex with somebody who's mentally ill and also a friend of your son and you don't think you look crazy trying to come to her rescue on any level but that's his job how's it your job until, if y'all if y'all want to pronounce until he say if he t- until he say not that's his job to protect okay, his check, wife because check this out because check this out so where was Will protection right after the slap and she threw that nigga under the bus saying she didn't right. need protection I've been a little pissed with that one we're like girl this so you look at all this kind all of fucking comes. blows for you and you couldn't you even crazy. see <laughs> like even my thing is personally we already know if we got problems in our relationship I'm gonna check you in private never in public in public, we are united front at all times. That shit that pissed me off. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, this man sitting here for the last year dealing with the bull black niggas making songs, writing memes, and posting all kinds of shit about him. You couldn't just say, I just appreciate my husband defending me in that moment. And leave well, it at that. Like, that's that. all you had to say. It, I, I take it further than that, and maybe that's why, where I come from. You know what I mean? Because to me, her name fell off a long time ago. Is it higher than, than somebody? Like she, she's not a she's not an A list actor because Will is considered to be an A list actor. She's not an A list, B list, or C list actor. You know what I mean? I she mean, only had one. She been in the movie. She'd have been. Oh, she had the TV show. She, she was just oh, in but the. Uh, she was on the Gotham TV show as a side character. She was just in, in a, 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 the Matrix Four. You know what I mean? As a, reprising her role from the Matrix as a side character. The only main role she's ever had was Wu, which is like the early, late 90s, or early 2000s. And then she was in the, the main four and set it off, which is again, late 90s, early 2000s. Unless oh, and been, Girl's Trip. Like a C-word. Yeah, in, in Girl's Trip. Other than that, she's like a C, C, D-list character. I mean, not character, but actor. Like, but that's cool. You look up her net worth, I think it says $15 million. So, that shows you the level of work she's gotten. Uh, not to say that the work has been bad, but as far as her pay status goes, because Will at the point in time was getting twenty million a movie. 
So his net worth would never be fifteen million dollars. Um, right. But over this period of time, Will clearly is the one that's been carrying y'all financially for twenty since the nineties. That got you the house. That got you this. That got you that. The whole red table talk. I don't know where it's filmed at now, but it used to be filmed in the house. That he paid for the whole production studio that y'all own is paid for by Will Smith. It was started by Will Smith, but he put your name on it, whatever the case is. Cool. I got no problem with that. That's him having helping his wife. Whatever you need, I'm pretty sure you got it. So I go back all the way to then. Like he's been carrying y'all family financially all the way up until this point. And then you still throw that nigga under the bus. Yeah, man. She been dirty. When it's the one time for you to show up. Because I've been putting in work for, if I'm Will, I've been putting in work for 20 plus years for us and our, our family and our team. And the one time that the public looked for you to come to bat, what the fuck you do? Yeah, I don't know. If I've been well, that been the last draw. Ma'am, I didn't allow you to embarrass me. <laughs> like, you couldn't even. Yeah, that, that, you right. Because I don't know. Because. I'm just saying, like, at one moment, gonna be some time you want to be the fucking like damsel in distress, and then now you don't need defending. Bitch, you out your mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I was saying. not in agreement with that, that. My character's on the line. My character's on the line, and my character's tied to our finances. Yeah, like, you going to go ahead and continue to throw my character under the bus, huh? I think in that moment, Especially in the environment that they in, that they choose to try to fit in with all those white people or whatever, whatnot. That would have been the moment that, against everything else, y'all should have been a united front. You should have had your husband side because they're already looking at y'all crazy. But you chose that moment to say, That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's on him. Like, bitch, what? That's like, yeah, I, I I was not a fan. Like, I expected her to at least be like, honey, I appreciate you. Like, even afterwards, you sit there in that moment, after you slap him, you put your head together with your husband like it was okay. And then the minute there was some cameras rolling that you had to speak on it, then, oh, I don't need defending, bitch. Like I did roll my eyes and um question her <laughs> even more. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? J- this is crazy. Jada, Jada was this some other shit. This 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 is like one of those because of course we don't see their relationship every day. You know what I mean? But I'm assuming they got good days, just like we got good days in our situations and good and bad days. You know what I mean? But publicly it, it, it's it's looking bad. Publicly, mm-hmm. it, it it looks it looks like will it, it clearly you got some stuff on your chest that you haven't dealt with. I don't believe you're happy. I don't believe you're, you're happy. I believe that you're probably content because y'all been together so long. But I don't believe you're happy, especially with everything that's going on in y'all situation. Um, and he gonna have to deal with that. And until he deal with that, me, me, me personally, like, I have to see, I have to see a public apology. I have to see it, a public apology, and a, and or a face to face apology with Chris Rock. Until then, I don't feel like I can fuck with him because you you violated, bro. You violated. And technically, if if that was me, and I and I kept my head together enough to in the moment because I am being paid and I'm trying to be a professional. After that show, nigga, will it would be on site, bro? It would be on site, nigga. I don't care what set and what the fuck you filming. I'm gonna be there with pause. I'm gonna be there to put pause on you, nigga. You can't film nothing safe. You have to get a restraining order because you slap a, a grown man. But like, I gotta go back and talk to my kids about that. I gotta go back and talk to my friends who gonna have all the jokes in the world and I'm gonna be all type of bitch ass niggas. I gotta go back to my wife who just saw me get slapped by another grown ass man. I gotta go talk to my mama who saw me get slapped by a grown ass man. 
and explain this, that, and the other. Even though a couple of them probably already know, he was trying to keep it together for the sake of the show, not lose his motherfucking cool, shit like that. Although Chris is not a fighter, but you know what I mean. In normal circumstances, that that just wouldn't wouldn't have happened. But he kept his composure, thought about it, and and he did what was best for the for the for the show and for the brand. He kept it moving. Uh, but after they they let this nigga stay in the building, they said they said the police was called to remove him. When they went to get him, he he uh he said no, so they let the nigga stay. Then right. they also continued to give him an award and let him do a speech, and then let the nigga attempt to cry. <laughs> Because what could they really do though? Squirt him out the building. He no, be because no he was no be no. But my thing is, you got to think about it. They always he's no longer a threat to every other white person. He's calm now. So what does that mean? That's what I'm saying. But I, gotta, I, can say, gotta, if, if I can shoot somebody right now, and the police comes. Hey man, listen. I'm calm right now, though. You know what I mean? I shouldn't. I shouldn't go to. I shouldn't go to jail. I shouldn't go to jail. He will still just broke the law in California. That's why the police said they could still arrest him because he still broke the law in the state of California. When he did that, that's assault. That's why they said Chris don't even have to press charges. We can still pick him up. So yes, he's still an active threat because he still broke the law and he's just sitting there. He could, he should have been removed. There's no award. There's unprecedented zero tolerance for this type of shit. You gotta get the fuck up out of here. You gotta go. If you was cool with, with your, you know what I mean? I'm willing to reap the consequences of my actions. Cool. You should be cool not getting this motherfucking award and getting your ass the fuck up out of here. At the very least. You know what that man said he earned his award. He wants his award. He gave it up. He, he, gave, he, he gave that award up. He forfeited that. Because you could have got your award and, and seen that man after the show if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you know what I mean. I'm not telling. I'm not saying he had to wait or whatever the case is. But if if if, if it cares, it be that much. You know what I mean? Like I can't go to my son's graduation, drunk and shit, act the fool, and then get mad when they try to put me out because I'm acting unruly. Like now I have to see my son walk across the stage. That's on me. I fucked up. If I don't, if I don't get to see that, I just have to blame myself. I get it, you know what I mean. I waited 18 years, 17 years to get to this point, but shit, I should, I should have, I should have been in, you know what I mean, a better situation. Will, you should be in a better headspace. I feel like, nigga, you in your in your situation, you and your yo until you and Jada figure out your situation, y'all shouldn't be outside. Because going forward, don't nobody who interview Will Smith want to ask anything but about the slap. If Jada Pink is in front of a camera. At any point in time, people catch her off the plane. They gonna ask about the slap, right? They ask about nothing else. So what do you do? You shouldn't even come outside, bro. Until you learn how to conduct yourself and deal with your demons, y'all shouldn't even be out. Well, really, will you shouldn't be outside? Jada don't give a fuck about you, so she can be outside all she wants to. She probably go outside with other people, other niggas. <laughs> Man, I ain't doing what that nigga got going on. She tripping, man. Telling you, telling all your business on red table talk. Even you ain't even part of the show, and she keep on from what I from the clips I seen. She she like bring you up and bring y'all situation up a lot. Now I use my, my relationship in like in like real life scenarios when it's relative mm-hmm. you know, to, to to a to a conversation or to a topic or something like that. And she's like she just throw you under the bus a lot, man. She talk about how, how you on. You didn't give her orgasms on one show. Right. Like, show. that's what I'm saying. Like, the mental show. abuse. <laughs> like, it's, it's that crazy, slap bro. probably been for her ass. <laughs> oh, he but that, that mental abuse, man, she, she just so... Like, I don't have no... Could he have chose to do that at a different space? Yeah, but who really cares? Jada? That bitch needs. She need a timeout because <laughs> she, she, she she definitely put something in Will's spaghetti because he can't leave. She need a timeout because she tripping. She, she got a hold on that nigga. She, she put some voodoo on that on that motherfucker because you can have plenty. Look, and I'm not saying look, I'm I'm not I'm heterosexual. Not, you know what I mean? 
Will, I feel like attractively, you know what I mean, when it comes to physical, Will could get a lot of women that look better than Jada and younger if he wanted to. Easily. Right. Will Smith. Who who would probably actually be more submissive and do whatever the fuck he wants to say just because they can say they can stand next to Will Smith, the motherfucker who worked for almost four hundred million dollars and shit like that. You know what I mean? Box office draw the whole nine. You can get somebody better than Jay. And it's not like y'all kids is kids anymore. The, both of them right. motherfuckers grown. Well, yeah, right. Both of the ones y'all got to grown. All three of them are grown, grown. So what do you have to say together for? Like, are you just trying to, to prove this marriage point to to the people? Like, oh man, you got open marriage, you know what I mean? And it lasts. Or do she got some type of dirt on you that you that she threatened to put out if you divorce or something? Like, what's going on? They ain't got no prenup. She gonna get the nigga money anyway, whether they divorce or she stay with him. Her shit been fifteen money. million for like the last past five years. So if her money ain't increased, I'm, I'm assuming she's been spending all your money. Yeah, but she could take a whole like lot that. more if they divorce. Hey, you'd be a whole lot happier. Well, right they now, already like, did the open money. relationship yeah. thing, so. Cause they said uh, Bad Boys Four has been postponed. They said he got two movies. He, he's supposed to be working on Bright Two with Netflix. That got canceled after the slap. He another movie called Fast and Loose or something like something and Loose or something like that with Netflix. That was postponed. They supposed to be working on. He's supposed to work on a uh, damn something else. That got canceled. So let's say we might have seen ten to fifteen million dollars per per one of those roles. That's four different roles right there. Right. You know what I mean? At even let's say at the low end, ten million. That's forty million dollars he missing. Nigga, you could divorce. I will give you a hundred million dollars just to get the fuck away from me in a divorce and let me go make this forty million. You could get that. Will could get that money back. But but in his situation right now, it's costing you more along with your peace of mind because it ain't all financial but along with your peace of mind bro because when I seen you on Red Table Talk I was like it looked like his eye, it, by the eyes being bloodshot red it looked like he was crying all night that's how it looked to me like yeah. he was hurt and he, he, was, he had been crying and you and you could tell by his emotions that she was doing a lot of talking he was just shaking his head like mm-hmm, 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 cause he really couldn't like I don't think he, he was he was over the situation you get what I'm saying like emotionally yeah, I think. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure he regrets it. Like in that moment, he regretted it. But you just never know what was gonna cause somebody to boil over, and unfortunately, that was it. Below well, but yeah, straight up, <laughs> I used to love Jada Pinkett. <laughs> but <laughs> she got some shit going on. <laughs> Like, I just felt like, man, sis, if you don't come up off this damn table, like, she had remind me of Oprah. You know how Oprah went? Oprah used to have her show. Anybody that have any kind of tragedy, she could always relate. Like, her life was so fucked up. Bitch, you are a millionaire. Please relax. That's how I feel about Jada. Like, ma'am, you cannot have a relation to all these issues. Is there anything good in your life? Just relax. You make it but seem I mean, like that- enough. That red table talk, like I just felt like that was her way to air their dirty laundry, and I just feel like that shit should have been kept in the laundry room at home where <laughs> where it belonged. But no, I I when it, when it I have pain. a firm belief that Will gonna bounce back from this. I don't know how his marriage gonna <laughs> bounce back, but I think Will will bounce back from it. I, I think he can he can get back to a degree as far as television is concerned. Although I don't think he, he I think he's getting up the age where he won't be that much in front of the camera anyway. You know what I mean? I think right. he might be have a few movies away from like you know what I man. I think I'm fitting that because he's like 53 or some shit like that. You know what I mean? So he may partner with one of these directors and they open their own little. I mean, that's what I'm saying, but he got, he got a production studio already. That's, he was a, his production company was behind Karate Kid. Remember when they oh. remade Karate Kid with Jaden? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, well. Yeah. Well, uh, and they behind the Red Table Talk and, and a, a couple of the uh, movies and stuff that, that, that they've done um, behind the scenes. So he already behind the camera. 
I mean, I don't know if he directs them, but he has a company, you know what I mean, that that that, that does that. Um, but I think he just probably got like a few things on the table over the next maybe four, five, six years or whatever. I think he'll he'll probably end up sending, sending it down anyway. Uh, which is why I don't think he really cared for the punishment of the ten years from the Oscars because shit, he's like motherfucker. I only got one anyway. I probably right. to get this one. You know what I mean, like it's what he was to me. That wasn't even his best role. He played a way better uh, acting job. Or did a way better acting job in Pursuit of Happiness than he did in King Richard. Oh, that's my movie. And I um, like Seven Pounds too. But I don't know. I just think Will gonna come back from that. Him and his wife need some serious therapy if they're gonna stay together. Cause she she need to get all that shit out. Like, and I think I don't like it because her well, mom would be sitting there cool signing with her. I'm like, ma'am. Well, it's, you it's back kind with your of husband? That, Relax. That, this this where I, I blame her for, for certain things, but I don't blame her for others. Which is why I say like what I said about Will. A lot of this shit is on you. Uh because when you decide to bypass certain things, but you still progress your relationship, that's on you, right? If you find out your girl is cheating, it's different. She cheating, and it's always behind your back and doing shady shit, and, and, that, and that's fucking with your relationship because she's acting a different way towards you, but you don't know what she's doing back here and, and why she acting like this. That's on her. But if you find out she's doing these things, but you continue to try to progress your relationship, like y'all still stay together, you get her pregnant. You engage. That's on at that point. That's on you. This is your fault that you're going through this because you had a choice when you was at the crossroads and you decided to stay. Right? It said previously already that Jada didn't want to get married. Getting married was will idea. Just like having a baby was will idea. Building that house was will idea. So it seems to be will is progressing the situation. Well, in the beginning, he didn't say uh, how much not, he not was infatuated with it. her. Correct. Love is a dangerous drug, you know. Hey, I, I think she, I think she, she wants she needed a bad boy, like like Tupac. I don't. I think we're too soft, <laughs> and but, that might be why he got the problems that he got. But old people and always went, tell you you married a man that love you more than you love him. You have you you won't have sex with Will at a point in time, but you'll go have sex with a mentally ill uh, fallen singer, child. Yeah, a friend of your son. Ooh. Mm. That's crazy, and, and but y'all can work that out after that. You know what I mean? And I'm not again. I'm not blaming her. I'm not saying that she cheated. You know what I mean? Because they they supposedly have an open marriage. So I'm not even saying that. I'm assuming that they probably been doing this or had this going on for a long period of time. That's already stated years ago they had an open marriage. You know what I mean? But I'm assuming that whatever they do, they probably have people sign non-disclosure. You know what I mean? Non-disclosures and shit like that. Whatever the case is. This is the only time I actually heard somebody come out that they actually say that they have had relations with a with a Smith. Right, but that was she uh, get from sleeping with that job. Fact. But I don't know. I just think her way of getting ahead of it was you know like I know she been trying to like get a little show off <laughs> but <laughs> that shit would have never like your husband got enough money and at the anyway like plenty of people who don't even got 15 million dollars you got enough money to be like to say I'm not addressing that y'all could believe what y'all want to believe I don't owe y'all no explanation for what I do in my hot pocket Period. Maybe she and leave it at that. Huh? Maybe she don't want to be with Will. That's so. I came to that conclusion after there was one show she did about him not being emotionally available or some shit like that. I'm like, well, damn, why you stay? Like, if he's all of these things, why do you stay? Because she know for a fact she can't do better. With Will, Will might be, it's like uh, you can have somebody that lacks an area that you feel deem is, is is not to your liking. But I think Will climbed the celebrity ladder so fast that now maybe she feels like she's in a position like, damn, I'm not happy, quote unquote. I don't like these type of things. But unless I'm willing to settle, 
I know I'm not getting another Will Smith. She too much for me. I remember when I was like, oh, that's Jada Pinkett. <laughs> like, when Jada Pinkett been on Different World, I was like a big fan. And set it off and those things. But the older she get, the more I be like, that ma'am, ma'am needs some therapy. A lot of it. I thought that's what her show was about. Her fixing her family supposed to be like, yo, this is me with my mom and my daughter. And then they quickly went to about Will and their relationship. <laughs> is what the fuck I said. And then I right, because there's watching. so many episodes and that's what I'm saying. Like, as much as I blog, as much as I get online, like, I don't care what topic it is. I might give you a little example. I'll be like, me and my dude, blah, blah, blah. But it's never going to be to the extent of, oh my God, I'm not sexually satisfied. Bitch, what? Like, why would you even say that? Like, I, and I, I guess for me, it's just a matter of, like, just keeping your private business private. Not TV. I haven't been, I haven't been happy in, it's been so long since I felt good. Like, the way she say things is like, it's all on wheel. It's not like, we don't, I don't think we're satisfying each other. It's he's not pleasing me. Yeah, even the I'm little episode they did about the party. He threw her a birthday party, her 40th birthday party or whatever. And she was like, this is about your ego. And he just was like, oh, she's right. No, she ain't, nigga. You just spent a million dollars on a fucking party to make her smile for her 40th birthday because she was having some kind of mental breakdown. That wasn't about your ego. You was trying to please your wife at your job. Like, that, I think that's when I be mad with Will because tell her bitch she crazy and go do something. But, you know, like I say, to each his own because that's not my marriage and I don't have that kind of money to be entertaining those people. But she sucked me. Mm, you, you, you can get on your blog and do an interview. Matter of <laughs> fact, you can go on Red Table Talk. <laughs> I do not because I'm an actor. Like, bitch, what is you on? What are you smoking? What do, you, what do you mean? Get out of life. <laughs> Cause she, yeah, maybe like no. Well, no disrespect, but your mama on some other shit too often. You you would assume the females on Will side would be telling him this stuff. Where where's the females in Will family on right now? But I don't think he yeah, got it. that much family though. All he got is his ex wife. Like you don't ever hear Will talking about family. No, but that, even if, without, I mean, he gotta have family. Everybody got family. You know what I mean? like, maybe he got like some cousins would be like, you know I mean? man, cousins. He, he gotta, he gotta, he gotta get rid of that bitch. Or, or close friends, just like family. You gotta have some type of. Where's the females around? Right, man. I even seen a girl on Instagram after shit happened. Was like, yeah, she looked, she looked nice. He was like, hey, you, you could drop her. <laughs> you could drop her and come get me. Carolyn Not Bright, that's his mama listen to her, you know what I mean, but it gotta be somebody like, bro, what, what are we doing? Did, did you watch that movie Deep, Deep Love? Oh, no, Deep, Deep Water, on Hulu? I suggested no. to, to uh, the ladies the other day, it's a movie called Deep Water, starring Ben Affleck and I forget the lady's name. Uh, I think it's Melinda or Anna It just come Anna. out. I know you're talking about. Man, listen. Nice movie. Real nice movie. That's the movie where she, um, he allow his wife to have, like, nah, he she be cheating. Like, she be openly cheating. And he be openly killing the people she be cheating with. I saw the preview for that. I'm a... She like a, a, a serial cheater. <laughs> he like a, a serial killer. <laughs> he only killed them, though, man. You gotta, you gotta watch. You gotta wa- watch that movie and then holler at me. Matter of fact, put that on your blog. I'm telling you. There's a lot to talk about there. I mean, what you, you did. You understand. Because uh, she was putting that man through a lot. And he was like, kind of like, I guess what Jada would say about Will. Like, emotionally, he was he was a millionaire. You know what I mean? Uh, I guess the way she wanted to be addressed emotionally, maybe it, it was, just wasn't in his nature. But you know, you know what I, mean? what I, I hear, if you want a hardworking man, you got a busy man. 
And I think a lot of times people don't understand who who they fall in love with or who they marry or who they get into relationships with because if your man is a millionaire and you meet him working hard, you pop into his life, even though he married you, gave you the kids, gave you the house, he's still going to make money. So are you really going to be upset that well you're never home girl cook the dinner and shut up because like what's your argument are you both working are you contributing to the house like if life is made for you a a man bringing in money is a hard working man I don't care what kind of lifestyle he choose if he in the street whatever a man making real money is a hard working man he does not have a lot of time so and then, again, he was he was the highest paid actor in Hollywood at the point in time. So that right. means that man was working. Like at the time, we talking about Under Schwarzenegger was still there, Sylvester Stallone, Brad Pitt. You know what I mean? What year was that? We'll pull up like, like seven movies or some shit like that. He was but averaging he... twenty million a movie. Like he was he was number one box office gold. Like it was will over the one black African American guy out of all the people that. That's good actors, you know what I mean? I'm not naming names, just name names, like great actors. He was number one. That shit came from work. The house y'all got came from work. Y'all kids been taken care of financially, getting school paid for, then your whole lifestyle. Was, I have to work to do that. You know what I mean? Your family, who knows what, what, what their financial needs outside of that is, you know what I mean? People take care of their families. You know what I mean? Will probably taking care of people on his family side, probably taking care of uh, financially. People on her family and it side is, financially. And the mama lived in? Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you, th- you think Jada Pinkett mama's taking care of because of Jada Pinkett money or because of her and Will Smith's money? Her and Will Smith's money. You know what I mean? When we bought your mama house, where did that come from? When we bought my mama house, where did that come from? You know what I mean? Like... It's not coming from from that. Not, no disrespect, but it's not really coming from your side. So, at a point in time, you know what I mean. I, I, I get. You know what I mean, I'm not. Again, it's life is not. It's not going to be perfect, and no individual is going to be perfect uh, at all. And if you want to go get her, and, and Will is a go getter, or at least was a go getter, have you want to cut it? He went and got it, and he brought it back. Brought it home. If ever he wasn't there, the motherfucker was out making money. Yeah, and I, I think, and you also have to be a strong individual as a woman to deal with that kind of man because you have to make sure you got your feelings in check or your emotions in check in regards to saying like, I know he's not cheating on me, he's making money. But there's so many tug of wars in the unit the woman and man dynamic now that I just be like whew, I don't have those problems in my relationship let me see the fuck out of it because <laughs> it, it just be so much going on and I just feel like they don't fit anymore even if they fit before they don't fit anymore I just think that she's constantly voiced that she's unhappy so let her go yeah it's probably gonna break your heart because you've always been the one who has been very open about your love and the chase and how beautiful Jada was even though you were married when you met her you know so just let it go (laughs) I I, ain't downing her as another black woman I just think she needs some therapy because there's there's no way like who stays in 20 years of unhappiness like no because you still can survive on 15 million dollars you ain't got the 400 yeah, and, and but you, you can survive on the other side you know what i mean go because out of all this all of this open relationship shit you keep bringing your ass back home bro. you and in, in this this 25 year open relationship marriage or open marriage you ain't found a, another man that you can go off into the sunset with yet So again, so is the grass really greener on the other side? 
You know, I mean, you and me, me sit down and right? watch a couple of red table talks. And don't get me wrong, because I'm pretty no, sure I, that I like the it. broadcasts that we see are the ones where she's definitely talking about home. But I now personally want to see if, you know, if she shared a good moment too, because all you see on the internet and on social media is the bad moment. So I, 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 I got to go back and see if she's celebrating him too. I, I think with her, I think it's the red the red table talk because she never made it there in Hollywood. I think the red table talk is like her her version of like uh what what's the show with all the women on the View something like that yeah the View mm-hmm. I think it's like her own the View because she can't she she don't have the name status or credentials to get to an uh, actual talk show that's already out and about or get to this A-level status. And because we all know controversy sells, I think that's why she do the shit that she do on Red Table Talk. Because in all honesty, it's your show. You don't even have to ever bring up Will. Will they right. bring up more than anybody that even come to the fucking show. And the man not even there. See, I don't well, watch you, it you, enough. You, like you I tell you, I don't even watch it if somebody see to get views. That's that's yeah. petty. That's bogus. And that's your husband. You know what I mean? But it's to me it's weird that you unhappy. You so unhappy in an open marriage. Let's not let's not forget it's an open marriage, not just a regular marriage. You so un- how are you how are you unhappy in an open marriage? Not only do you got will and the benefits of that come with will. When he's not around, you can go get another dip, another dude to fill whatever void that will don't. Let's say you want somebody emotional, you go you can go get that. You want this, you can go get that. You want you want great sex, you can go get that. So why are you still unhappy? Right. Is it is it really just because you married to will? It gotta be because you shouldn't be unhappy. Like if you got man, I'm just so hungry, man. And I don't know what to eat. You go to the grocery store. You got your fill of whatever you want to get in the grocery store. There's no way you should come out of here and still be like, man, I just can't find what I want to eat. You're in the open marriage. She can have the best of all worlds, not both worlds, all worlds. Why are you still unhappy? Either, either it's you really just don't want to be attached to Will, or there's really something fucked up in yourself that you just never fix. Right. And as long as and if that stays unfixed, you're gonna always be unhappy. It don't matter who you with. Yeah, low low um low Gina need some therapy. And that table ain't it. Yeah, you got to send her people an email on Facebook and, and <laughs> try to get that interview. You know what I mean? So you put that on your blog. For real. She she a lot. She a whole lot. He, he, too, too much trouble for what she brings to the table, though. It's, it's too. You could you could bring a certain amount of trouble as long as you bring a certain amount to the table to to make me deal with that type of stuff. Like, dudes will deal with a level of stuff from one, someone that they really attracted to versus uh, ugly somebody they think is ugly <laughs> or a woman. If you're an ugly dude, you cannot treat a woman any type of way. They will leave you in a heartbeat. But if but if you look nice, you like really attractive, and other women want you, and you kind of got your stuff together financially a little bit, you can get away with some shit. Not saying that you should, but you could. But if you don't got your shit together, you definitely can't. Be Hell yeah, you know, because like that. that and old Kia, not 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 current adult Kia, but old Kia. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put up with some bullshit if you got some money. <laughs> that's not like, that's not like the new kid. <laughs> but current kid, I gotta tell her shit. Listen, if this not going my way, sir, I'ma show you the door. Cause I don't got time. Like I can't deal with the headaches no more. Like I'm not in the street fighting your bitches no more. Like I just don't do those things no more. Like I got too much to lose. So I just be like, fuck this, cause no, nope, I don't got time. See what I'm saying? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. But what, that's what the truth. Like in return for dealing with Jada, if you what, had what a sugar secret? mama or something like that, you know. That's, that's what I'm saying. You 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 can deal with certain things as long as, but the benefits got gotta beat the standard. Like damn, shit, I know she's doing this and she's doing that, but 
but then she do be looking out for me. And she, you know what I mean? She, right. She, she, she got money, she do break me off something. When I was in jail, she did come get me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I locked up, she did come get me. She put your money on my books. You know what I mean? So, so then you you, you tolerate certain things, but it has to meet that level of what you get back out of out of that. I'm a, I'm gonna tolerate this because I get X amount back. So it kind of balances that. But if you wasn't getting nothing, nah, you can't be you can't be out here cheating, acting a fool, talking about me behind my back, and I don't get nothing from you. I'm not doing no benefits, man. Nah, I'm out. For real, but that's facts though. Like, but that's the, that's the younger, but that's that's the real life shit though. You know what I mean? That that's real. We don't we don't say that, but that's real. You will tolerate things up to a certain point. Everybody does. You know what I mean? Especially emotionally, you will tolerate things. Once you got that emotionally connected, it, it, it's 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 even harder to get away. Yeah, because once you fall in love with somebody, you be like, damn, this nigga getting on my nerves. But you be like, I guess. <laughs> you, <laughs> you get mad in that moment y'all talk about it and you be like whatever man okay but now in my current relationship he know I be like hey, <laughs> he know what he be like hey. I be like hey, we need to, I be like we need to talk and he hate those words and he know like you got a certain amount of time to fix whatever I'm unhappy with but what I can say is I, I give him the same opportunity like he'd be like babe I don't like such and such and I'd be like alright you know but that's a mutual respect that we have for one another but I'm telling you if it's some like like he know my boundaries my limits like he know my heart knows hey listen this can't ever happen or we done done and I, I'm the girl that's gonna cry in the shower tonight and tomorrow I'm over the shit cause we not doing that like my heart knows like if he he know if you ever cheat on me I don't care if we marry I don't care how much of your money I have you're gone there, there's no coming back from that I don't do that those are my hard knows and he has his hard knows like <laughs> For instance, like he got some funny ass hard nose, but let me just give you an example. My boyfriend told me if I ever dated a white guy and slept with them, that we would never be a couple. Cause I'm tam- I'm contaminated. That's exactly what he said. Oh, if if you would have dated a Caucasian man previously, uh huh, yeah, and slept with them. No, if like when we first got started talking to one another he asked me if I ever dated a white man and I was like no that's not really my thing and I couldn't figure out you know why why is that one of the questions but okay you know it's a no question so I don't really need to figure out why you need to know that but later on I learned that he really if I had said yes that we would have never became a couple because he felt like I would have been contaminated (laughs) He's nuts. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with him. But I love him to death. Angie told me that before. Hold on. you would you have ever slept with a, a, a Caucasian man? You have a, a, a reason why you wouldn't? If I if I would have if I would have had relations, if I told you I had relations with a white woman before me and you got together. You think we still would have got together? Kia, Kia, Boo told her, and she didn't find out to to, uh, to later in life that when they was talking, he had asked her if she ever had relations uh, with a with a white man. She said no, nah, because she didn't. She said she didn't find out to way later in life that because they still together. That he that he felt like if she would have said yeah, he'd have never fucked with her at all. If you had sex with a white man, that's how, that's how he feel. He says he, he, he felt like she was been contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what she said. <laughs> she laughed. That's what she said. God oh, damn. Yeah, man. People, are, but you know that's your hard nose. But I really think we'll need to do some, like, like matter of fact. 
Denzel and Tyler Berry had all his hand after way. Nobody need to sit him down. Tyler Berry think he a woman anyway. Go ahead and sit him down and tell him to get his life together because this ain't it. Man, look, we we we, we gonna we gonna end it on on a good note because I still wish I don't wish bad for people per se. Um, I don't like I don't like Jada. <laughs> I don't I don't like the woman you, you try to perceive yourself to be. For the woman you come off as, I I don't like it. But mm-hmm. that's just me. I think y'all both are in the fucked up place, and and clearly y'all got some unresolved issues. And it might be something that y'all probably have tried to resolve previously and never could. It's what it seemed like. Because it seemed like he will definitely have some shit on his chest that he's not happy about. And I don't believe that it's, it's something new. You know what I mean? Because this shit, this shit between y'all has been going on for a long time. And clearly, you don't even stand up or back your man in anything no matter what he do for you. You're not happy with it. No matter what. That's what it seems like. I don't I don't know what it is behind the scenes but this is what it seems like. So in that, you know what I mean, y'all need to go find y'all peace. And it's probably opposite of each other. But y'all definitely got to see, like, intense counseling individually and possibly some type of counseling uh, together and try to work this shit out. And if y'all can't, I think y'all should just go y'all fucking separate ways and go be happy. Because y'all not happy. Facts. Or from, it's perceived to be y'all not happy. Let me say it like that. We could be wrong. But from the public, it looks like y'all not happy. And if that's, that's the case, man, and y'all in y'all 50s, uh, go be happy, man. You know what I mean? You, don't, you never know how long you got out here. Y'all need to just you need to go be happy. You know what I mean? And, and, and whatever your endeavors are. Y'all done raised y'all kids. Y'all did the best y'all could. They in their 20s. They successful. Like, what more can you ask for? I mean, y'all got 25 years after this. It's not like y'all was married for a year or two of divorce and y'all let the work. I mean, y'all was married for, for fucking 25, what, 20? They got married like 96, 97? It was been 25 years. 24, 25 years. On, that's a long fucking time. Yeah, man. For her to be like, she be reliving years of unhappiness. But I just, um, she just, I just hope will come out of this as unscathed as possible, I guess, because I mean, he not jack it up. But. It's the crazy part. I just think some people, like, get into a relationship, get married, be unhappy, get a divorce, but back into a relationship, and it works. Like, them being boyfriend and girlfriend work more than them being married. Right. You ever heard of that before? Yeah, because... I, I, I'm because there are some people and that's because people don't communicate no more but there are some people that think that marriage will ultimately absolve everything that's wrong and then you got people that get married and then all of a sudden they stop being who they were now I got the ring or I unlock her down I don't gotta do that if you've been cooking this man dinner seven days a week now you got you married, so you hanging out with your girlfriends. That ain't gonna work, cause that ain't who he fall in love with, and that is not who he asked to marry him, and vice versa. If you've been bringing her flowers every week, twice a week, and now y'all married, and she ain't see his flowers in six months, that don't work, <laughs> cause that's not who she fell in love with, and that's just people just forget all the things they did to, I guess, get a person. And like that shouldn't stop. Y'all growing and evolving, cool. But y'all better be growing and evolving together, or y'all not gonna make it. So, so what, what advice would you would you give somebody that, that's going through that 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 right there? Going through what? Not like the marriage not working. Going through like similar, not the same, but similar Will Smith and Jada type situation. Sit down. Y'all need to communicate with one another, not with the public, but sit down and talk to each other and figure out do we want to make it so we 80 on the on the porch in our rocking chairs or do we want to call it quits because she clearly unhappy. They need to go through some marriage counseling <laughs> outside of the public eye and then she need to 
either eliminate her red table talks about her personal life or get rid of that shit altogether because I don't I still don't believe that slap was just that singular moment that's from all the shit you got going on like it's not like that slap probably was for her honestly <laughs> It, it's definitely that's what I'm saying. It's definitely built up frustration. Yeah, but I just think it's that if I up. was, if I was, if I was a man, if I was Will, uh, that was my brother. I would be like, man, bro, she ain't happy, and you need to figure out if you want to stay in that. Y'all need to sit down and y'all need to communicate with one another. You need to figure out if you want to stay in that. If you want to stay on that, figure out how you can get to be happy. But the idea about that is. You can't make somebody else happy that's not happy with themselves. And she's clearly not happy with who she is. But she's expressed that several times. So, at what point do you say, I stopped trying to make you happy. Let's call it quits. But if he willing to keep fighting for his marriage, that ain't our business. <laughs> but if I was his sister, I would be like, man, brother, she not happy. Let that go. If I was her sister, I would be like, man, why you keep embarrassing your husband like this? Do you want to be divorced? Like, let it go. They need more than Willow at that table talking about, damn. <laughs> and, and more than Granny being a co-signer because they clearly don't have no hard friends because Red Table Talk's been running three years now. That's three years of embarrassment that man not going through. I just can't. I don't think they can keep no friends. He'll probably put their business on where table talk too. We'll probably try to sleep with their man and shit like that. No, don't say that. I don't think that lady tried to sleep with her friends. You can't, you can't, one thing you don't want to be is a friend that when all all your when all the friends get together, you complain about your relationship all night. That's Jada. Mm mm. How's your relationship? It's great. We're great. And that should always be your answer. Yeah, that's Jada. Yeah, I know. I ain't had a work after me. Like, even if you have, like, one friend that you can fight in or whatever, I, I, I would never do that. But, like, you, uh, that gotta you be like somebody seen, you trust. Have you seen any of her friends on Red Table Talk? Just the people that should be like, those my girls and stuff like that like let me see queen i've been there tony i've been there um tiffany crazy ass been there too a couple of them been like, friends? well queen latifah right. and jada pinkett are actual friends okay cool so that's one <laughs> and tony braxton is supposedly their friend too but i don't know because like i tell you i don't never watch the show until somebody be like oh key you gotta go watch this episode like the george woods episode i went back and watched that like i don't go that's why i tell you i'm gonna go sit down and watch a couple of shows and see if there's ever some shows that she actually celebrating her husband because i don't ever hear anything good about it i always hear you know gina don't say this about <laughs> will and will not doing this for her <laughs> and that's i usually right. hear it through men being like Jada ain't shit so I don't pay it no mind because we all on the outside looking into these people marriage that they choose to put out to the public but still we still don't know two hours of TV don't give us a full life story mm-hmm. so I just want to tell you I'm going to go back I'm going to watch some shows and see if she actually celebrating her husband but my advice to anybody going through that is communication is so important I don't care if you just starting out or you 10 years in. If y'all ain't talking, something wrong. Like, if that's your partner, that's your husband, that becomes your best friend. Yes, you can have friends outside of that, but at all times, y'all got to represent. When you go outside, you represent her. When she go outside, she represent you. Y'all are your 90 front at all costs. And I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> like, that lady stressed me out bad, man. I don't know. And, and, as, and as, as much as y'all, as much as a, as a team, and y'all gonna progress, hopefully progress forward as a team, y'all still need to be personally progressing as individuals. Mm-hmm. And two with one another, but I, I also wonder if 
do they stay together this long because they've been together so long or do they really believe their marriage is still live and kicking? Because you have people who stay in situations who be like, man, we've been together this long. For instance, I know a lady, her and her husband have been married 14 years. In 14 years, her husband has had four children. And she said, that's my husband. And we've been together this long. Ain't no need for me to cut it off now. So what can you say? You just be like, oh, okay. And mind your business. <laughs> like, dang. You know? Her husband has had four children with other women? Other women. For other women. And she's still standing there. She's still standing there. So, she, so her, she find her out her about the first little girl on her wedding day, and they had already been together five years at that point. I'm just yeah, saying. Probably would have died but to her, going back to what we said earlier, maybe there's something there for her that outweighs or levels out the negative, whatever it is. Right. And that's why people, we gotta, you have to communicate. So no matter what it looks like to us, if you feel like it's worth fighting for, fight for your relationship. And But still, in that fight, that united front outside is important. And I think that's what my thing is. Like, even if they're choosing to stay together, the both of them, Nobody, we don't allow anybody, even before the slap, we don't allow nobody to disrespect his wife. He don't allow them to have those conversations. So the idea that she allows that to go on, she don't respect him. And that's, that gotta be a hard boundary, a hard pill to swallow. But I ain't no man, and I'm not Will Smith, so I don't know what he's feeling or what he's thinking. But I just feel like the level of respect is not there. But communicate, stick it out if you feel like it's worth it. If you feel like it's worth it, I don't care what your mommy, your daddy, or your granddaddy say. Do what you need to do for you and yours. Respect one another, love one another, and talk to one another. Why are we not talking? Uh, I think I think some people are. They just not. They, there's a difference between talking just to be talking and actually communicating. Communicating effectively. Matter of fact, I met a young lady. Her and her boyfriend, they actually communicate through an app. The app helps her ask the hard questions that she's afraid to have. Conversations she's afraid to have with him. Hmm? it's like I can't remember the name of the app but I actually went to a brunch it was a networking brunch um, and she was like her and her boyfriend they use the app to uh, like when she wants to have like a hard conversation with him they use the app and they help use some expert to help them have that hard conversation I don't need no app to tell me how to talk I went to school for psychology I'm very great with these words so <laughs> hey we need to talk like that's all it is like I know he don't like to hear that but whenever I'm feeling something I don't like to hold on to things and things like that and but I definitely understand who he is and you gotta learn your person so when you learn your person I think you figure out this is how he or she needs to be communicated with this is how they're gonna be receptive to that all those things need to be worked out and discussed and you need to figure out where y'all want to be or where y'all trying to take it. Are Yo. we passing time or are we going to make it, you know, to the end of the road? What up, panel? Hi. What's the deal? You have a comment? Stop, no, where you saying, going? I do was saying, what's the deal? Like, what's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. How are you? <laughs> Everything's beautiful and tranquil. I can't complain. That's wonderful. But I definitely wanted to join you guys' conversation. You know what I'm saying? I like topics like you know, I like going in uh, in depth. You know what I'm saying? You were mentioning uh about like uh you said the, they were going on uh 
different apps uh, to, to uh, get consulted about their relationship. Mm-hmm. You don't think that's a good thing? No. Mm. I just, I mean, if you, if that's the kind of help you need, I'm not against it, but I just feel like, why would you, like, if you're exchanging bodily, and this is just my theory, if you're exchanging bodily fluids with someone, you should mm-hmm. be able to have a conversation with them. And if you well, can't, are they you married? Know, you shouldn't be they're sleeping together. You know? They're boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, shit, well, it's gonna work or it's not, huh? <laughs> I mean, she says it works for them. I just, I was a little well, you know, back. I always say this, you know, it's good for me and good for them. That's my shit. I always say right. it. It's good for me and good for them. I can't, you know, I, I can't get mad at it, you know, because that might really work for them, you know. But I'm not really into the red table talk business. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> no, we just was. Styles asked a lot, um, a question. No, I was just saying like, that's like when I said red about... table talk. I mean, any anytime you got somebody like pillow talking outside of a relationship, adding other people into. What they doing? What they not doing? All that shit. Uh, that's messy. Oh yeah, we talked about that earlier about public opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we were um we were discussing why Jada at that why she chose not to be the one time she should have stand up for him. Why she chose not to? You know. <sighs> thing about them is if it ain't broke don't fix it but as much as they they tell us things that they're going through and we see it I'm one of those people that don't respect the obvious I always think there's something else and Mm -hmm. a lot of times it's true and obviously it's so obvious that there are certain things that they don't live by the status quo. They, uh, they don't have a traditional relationship like that. And clearly, they're smart about it because, I mean, it was going to come out eventually about their business. But Jada, she capitalized off and off real, real table talk and got in the increments and the views. You know, so, I mean, it's a, it's a couple ways you can look at it. I'm not really totally against them, Jada or Will specifically. I'm just saying for me personally, you know, how can I even say that? Because I don't, I, 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 mm, it's one of those things that I'm not going to really get to the, the rule of it till I really know what's all going on. And that might be long before, long, long after my time, maybe when they, when they write, when, J, when uh, Willow Smith or somebody writes another book or some shit, who knows? <laughs> I caught mommy and daddy spanking <laughs> someone. Who knows? Who fucking knows? But uh, as he is on it though, she gonna she gonna do an interview with Jada uh, coming soon on her blog. Wait, who? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. do not want to interview that lady because I'm really, 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 really going to ask her why she has not visited somebody therapy session. Maybe they probably has. do. They do. Hey, they probably they do group therapy and all this shit. <laughs> but you know, they, they probably have at some point in time. And that's probably what she realized she don't want to be with that nigga. So leave. <laughs> uh, financially, it might make sense. But what you mean? What do you mean she doesn't want to be with him? Did she clearly? She didn't. She didn't say. She doesn't say she doesn't want to be with him. She just says things to a square. Like we gotta understand something. We're lit. We're I'm okay. I'm gonna speak for myself. I'm not. I don't have the money or the status in the public eye that they do. I'm a square to that lifestyle. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So, as a square to that lifestyle, it would be hard for me to wrap my head around the things that they do because I'm a square. You did? So, at the end of the day, there are certain things that goes on in their relationship that they probably would never tell on Red Table Talk. Absolutely. Unless but basic up. respect is. Well, but what he is saying, right, is if, if in, in, the, in the clips and snippets and everything, even on other uh, interviews 
and for different uh, TV shows like Oprah and all this that Jada Pink has ever been on, it seems that she don't say nothing but negative shit about Wiz. Right? He don't do this. He don't That's give a me more He don't make me happy. She said all this. She said that, but she's also said good things. I think the narrative is being painted. Listen, I'm only playing devil's advocate here. I do. I'm not dick riding at all. But all I'm just saying is, we. I'm not going to sit here and we all just say the same shit, right? Right. So I'm going to be devil's were... advocate situation. But if we're going to really think about it right now, if you look at those videos, yeah, she says those things, but she also says good things too. You know what I mean? Right, and that's what. So earlier in the show, I told him like I don't really watch the show enough. Like, I only watch it when, you know, somebody's made a big stink or sent it to me and be like, oh, you need to watch this episode, etc. So that's why I told Styles I'm going to go back and I'm going to watch it because I want to see if at any point is she celebrating her husband as much as we see that she's bashing her husband. Because all you but, ever but, see but, is the but, bad but moments. The celebration, the, the, the celebration has to be huge celebrations, though. Because the shit that she say are huge negatives. But how you? you go, but how do you know? I haven't been happy in so long. What the fuck is so long? Is some months? Is some years? Because you said you telling the world that I haven't been happy in so long seems like a long fucking time. That's big. So I need when you celebrate him. She was going. When she said that she probably was going through a depression, bro. But who? who who's not? But I mean, but then, everybody does. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say little things that my wife do to make me happy but go on TV and say huge negative that she do that pisses me off. You gotta, you got you have to be a balance. It's about what you're portraying. But it's hard for you to compare me. yourself to them though, bro. It's, it, 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 no, we can't I'm even compare. Myself, I'm, I'm, I'm comparing myself as a person. I'm comparing right. myself as a person. I'm what I... But what you saying you couldn't... Make my wife look you're, super huge, look, look super bad and, and only make her look good in, in minuscule form to the bad shit that I talk about. It. Mm-hmm. Me as a person, I'm talking about as people shouldn't do that. This is I'm, mm-hmm. I'm portraying my spouse. Will is not in the public talking about his relationship to that degree and magnitude. So only thing we have to really to portray, and I'm not saying I'm judging or whatever the case is, but when I'm looking at if if you was my guy and you give me more bad shit and big shit that's negative, like do you talk about your wife in good life sometimes? Yes, you do. But you also make it seem like she's a huge bitch. She's a straight whore. She don't do nothing good. If you do that uh, way more than you celebrate it, I'm going to be like, hey, bro, why are you still there? That's what we say. I'm gonna ask but you did he wife. say that? But when did Will Smith say, my wife's a bitch, a whore, a slut? No, no, no. Like, I'm, not saying, I'm, not, I'm not saying Will. I, I'm, I'm not, now that's me reflecting as a man. So I'm saying if Jada, if Jada going here, I just haven't been happy in so long. Oh, Will don't know how to please me. Oh, our sex life hasn't been good in I don't know forever. Uh, she said these type of things. So I mean, you but you gotta think about it though, public, bro. I need you gotta to think about that it. Level that to balance that out. Or I'm a your grandparents. Your next wait, check it out. Wait, hold on. Your grandparents was what shit once was once younger and that's the thing that really gets me that I've been preaching on here a lot I think a lot of times I think Jada she's been going through something she's been going through a couple of things and they're getting fucking old too and relationships are not what they depicted you know I'm talking about those marriages like, come on, let, if we had a fucking camera on some of us and our parents, oh my fucking God, it'd be fucking, my French kiss, chef's kiss. You know what I'm saying? Like, the drama and the bullshit that goes on in our houses. But we have to understand something. A marriage is not just, quote unquote, love and sex. And I think a lot of times in Hollywood movies and TV shows, that's what they portrayed all this. Oh, Puppy dog love and sex, right? But a marriage is so much more than just that. I don't know. And Will Smith, I, and Will Smith talked years. about, and Will Smith I've talked about. He said, he said, he said, listen. He said, man, I witnessed my father. Listen, I'm gonna work. If he wants to work this without with Jada, that's what he want to do. Look, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not mad at the nigga. Fuck, that's if, that, if he really truly love her, all her flaws and all, till death do they part. Come on, go ahead, all power to him. No, well, we're not saying it ain't like no, you like, being hog tied. 
It ain't like you being hogtied, ho- ho- hostage in a dark room, bitch, if you ever. You know, nah, it's like nah, he, we didn't say it either. We, we, earlier we said a lot of this shit fall on wheels. Because if I was Will, I'd do way better than Jada. I'd go get a couple thousand Jada, to be honest. If I'm Will Smith. But that's just me. This that's let me ask me. a question if you guys if you guys got the information and the, and the, and the knowledge on it. Do you, has has Jada Pinkett Smith been working like consistently in the last twenty years? No, she, she do. She has had spots though. She was just in the Matrix, uh, reprising her character. I mean, besides the, the Matrix, that, uh, for, let's go. She, let's she, go. Let's she, go. Like she has her television show. She was on Gotham as a besides a, a that C-list character, shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, wait, no, she, wait, you she, say she, she on that TV show? What TV show? What TV show? in Gotham. She, she was in Gotham, the TV show Gotham. Okay. I mean, but let's keep it real. Like, if she wasn't married to Will, like, we wouldn't be like, oh my no, God. No, no, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying, but this is what I'm saying. That's why I said. No, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but that, what I'm saying is, I think, you know, she has a lot of freedom and she's not working as much as Will is. So maybe him working and she not working a lot might go into like maybe why they haven't been on a, you know, because if they're both working, they both can go home, babe. I'm working on this. I'm working on that. Will's always working. Will Smith been a damn near first class movie movie star since fucking Fresh Prince, you know. So you no, know, since like fucking Independence Day, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, like the motherfucker's a superstar. And I, it's almost like this Seth Curry thing. And you see a lot of, like, women when their man is doing, like, a little bit more better than them. Like, it's like Aisha Curry. She was like, it's like, oh, my God. Like, it's like a... What the fuck is that? But, uh, no, nah, it's like this little thing I, I guess I've been seeing. Like, it's like, it kind of reminds me of that Steph Curry, Aisha Curry. Like, it's like, you know, when you got a lot of time on your hands and your man is not around... I guess the out of mind, you know, and like you just start to think and, you know, and stuff like that, you know, and it happens a lot in normal relationships. Like when your man or your significant other is gone a long time, all the time, doing movies and shit like that, always doing this, always doing that, you're going to like question things and think about certain things. And sometimes no matter how much your significant other might reassure, you might still feel insecure, you know, about some things. Right. But we talked about that earlier, like, Mm-hmm. That's about knowing your spouse. If you want a hardworking man, you got to know that he's not readily available for you to do like little dumb shit with. But we talked about that earlier. But I think my mm-hmm. biggest thing is they know that they're in the public eye. So right. at what point you and your spouse, you and your significant other, Whatever you want to go by, y'all should be a united front at all times. In a perfect well, world, I guess. But you should be not in a perfect yeah. world. That's just a basic respect thing. Look, 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 like I'm I never mean, when you end up, you got you got to think about it. When you're in the public yeah. eye, though, when you think about yeah, the public which, which eye, though, the, back in the, the days, everything, everything we seen from Jada, it was that, okay. Going off what you said earlier, if we all had cameras in our household, the thing is. If I had a camera in my household, you would see my 13-year relationship up and down. But this ain't the camera in my household. Jada is not the camera in her household. She's coming to the camera and volunteering information that don't need to be said. Right. Be, just she because I want to think about something. Wait, 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 you said you said she'd be on camera exposing. Now I'm just asking a question. What is she exposing? Tell me what she's exposing. No, I'm just talking about the negativity. Look, it's a free country. I always free every it's a free country. Everybody free to say what they it's want negative to, say. to you? Some of the, a lot of things that she said, yeah, it's negative to me. How is it negative to you? Uh, when you when you show anybody in a certain type of light, it's negative. I'm not saying it's not warranted, but it's negative. Wait, 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 what? If you if you if you come out and tell me that your spouse don't make you happy, I'm pretty sure your spouse will say that's negative. I'm pretty sure. So she blat- So she blatantly came out and said 
Will Smith does not make me happy right now. Correct. He said in the present tense. She said in the present tense. No, no, I'm not, on I'm that not, show. I'm not saying in the present tense. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. And I, and I don't so, watch you, so you said she like was speaking on the past. You said he, he, I, you no, you she said was it. speaking on the past. This has been said in the past. So at the time it was present. At the she time it was this. present, oh, and in, she was in, speaking in, on that present moment. Okay, the right. reason why I'm asking you this is because I, I'm trying to get to the bottom. And I just, I'm just trying to analyze it now. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it, really, truly. But I am picking up game on it, you know. But um. I really apologize. Trouble. I, you know, I, I get really like passionate on this situation sometimes. You know, you were about to say something. My, my apologies. Oh, uh, oh uh, we both openly uh, have said too that they're both to blame in different situations, and they both should just get personal help. Mm-hmm. We, we also said that too. You know what I mean? Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Uh, but this is going off to what, what. Was saying is when I said, you know, or when we got to the point was like, I don't know why she just don't quote unquote leave if if you skew so much negative stuff. Not saying that he don't or that he should leave. Where we were just on Jada at a point in time. Why you just don't leave? Because you skew a lot of negative shit. And we talk when I talk about like right now in the just over the period of just Red Table Talk. Well, before even Red Table Talk, up until Red Table Talk, you say a lot of negative shit. Like that don't need. To I don't think it's negative. Country, you, you can say what you want to say. You know what I mean? That's cool. Look, if if my woman is always on TV talking about how I don't please her sexually or how unhappy she is, for but she's so not long, always on I, TV. She, you think every episode of Red Table Talk is her saying that? You said she, she's always. But on that's. TV. But we said that earlier. You you can have a thousand TV shows, and if I go, if my girl can have a thousand episodes of her TV show, and if I can go and pinpoint twenty, that's too many times. That you don't talk about 20. what I don't do for you. Twenty? If I can it go can with twenty, be that's twenty. Lie. Because you know what? There's only three. No, no, no. Four red table talk shows that people always talk about. Four of them. Four. Yeah, how many episodes she got? Like damn, the three hundred now? Like two something. I don't know. I, I, I don't watch the show. Majority. But of that's what I, I said earlier. So we've interviews. been even when she was on Oprah and shit. We started this at seven p.m. Eastern time. But that's what I said earlier. I don't watch her show enough to know that she celebrates him as much as it's highlighted, highlighted that she's not celebrating him. And what I'm saying just recently with all the public backlash, you already put your private life in the public eye at this talk mm-hmm. previous times in the public eye. The day after he made what America considers the biggest mistake of his career Instead of you saying, I appreciate my husband protecting me because that's what he was doing. Or that's what he He made it look like. He had a nervous breakdown. But in that moment, he felt like he was protecting his wife. When he yelled after that, he said, keep my wife's name out your mouth. The lady asked her, how does she feel about Will slapping Chris Rock? Her response as a wife, just being raised the way I, I was raised, myself. the way I operate, she should have just stand next to her husband. It shouldn't have been it like, my, I, don't I'm, I'm gonna say this, I don't need protecting this and that because I'm here we are as him. black women out here with the argument that, oh, black men not protecting us. They not doing but what look, they though, supposed to be doing, I blah, do, blah, blah. If that's the if argument... If I'm a grown-ass man, look, if I'm a grown-ass man, and I and I do something like that at the Oscars. I would want my woman to say some shit like that. I would want her to be like some shit like that because at the end of the day, that was not for me to do. It was call not, it what you want. You call it what your, you want. Would you would you want your wife to call you out in the public eye to make you look worse, or would you want her to correct you in private? She could do whatever she want. That's not gonna change. That's not gonna change nothing. At the end of the day, you gotta think about it. They've been in Hollywood for a very long time. But see, another side of me, like, but they're human, though. But I guess they're not. But I wanted to say something earlier that you alluded to about the public eye. The internet has a lot to do with that. Because back in the day, like in the 90s and early 2000s, early that's when like tabloids started spinning crazy. But like back in the days, a, a, a actor or actress can keep their solitude in the exclusivity and the privacy without being 
so looked at in the public like that. You might even you might hear an article or two or news if it's big, but most people ain't know certain things about certain artists until now because of the media fishing up everything and going into everything. And if you listen to Will Smith talk about like the world as he sees it on, I think it was Conan O'Brien. The motherfucker's real open minded. Like he's one of them Scientologist motherfuckers. So I kind of get it. But at the same time, it could be bad for the I don't know, man, because you don't know what they talk you don't know what they talk about with them doors closed. You don't know how they break it down. You know what I'm saying? You don't we don't know. You know, we don't no, know. This, right. this, 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 this is what you can say about the public. How many times in real in especially since we've been on social media has he bashed Jada in a negative light? He's not that type of guy, though. He would never bash. He wouldn't but, bash but, nobody. But you just said because it's the public, everything just comes out. This is what I said earlier. The negative stuff that she said she's choosing to say, she don't have to say it. It's what you're choosing to. So when you voluntarily put the information out there, that makes that can give people opinion. That's why I don't. That's why I well, don't have to say. And why will don't? I mean, I said why will don't because I'm, the way she moves is weird. The but domino. It's not Will says negative things. I see Jada say the domino that the domino spent a ton of money on her birthday. Her reaction was he didn't even do that for me. He did that just to prove his look, ego. The domino that plucked everything out, and it was a business move by them. When August L. Cena went and said what he said, the best thing for them in that position that they felt to do was. Look, I I'd rather kill myself before I let them kill me. So they, that's what they did. It was uh, they did a self-deprecating thing, so they can get some views in it too and get some some money from it. So I I'm not mad at them for that because guess what? If they would have never said anything, they probably would have just got just as much hate or some shit. You know, people would be like, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. but guess what? After that, Will and Jada, that that was a domino that really flipped it because. Mo- she was going on TV and having to explain like as fuck. Like I said, she got time. She ain't working on no fucking movies. She ain't doing shit. But sitting in her house, probably. You know? But she got enough power. There's not, even though she not working. I don't put that many. There's you put not, too much expectations nobody, on her. I don't even know her personally to even expect shit from her. Right, but that's a but. So, like I said, you missed like an hour and a half of the show prior to you coming on. You just like your 15 no, times saying that. Can we talk about something else just so the, we don't have the to say thing, that again? <laughs> but what I'm saying is you keep alluding to things we've already talked about. So then how about we switch the topic because I might keep on saying shit like that, you know? You... Let me. <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm saying is we already talked about that. So but I don't want to. That's points. the thing. I don't want to keep saying it though. I don't want to keep making points about and keep hitting things that y'all probably already talked about. I mean, you know, that's all I'm saying. My bad if I, you know, my bad. All I'm yeah. saying is, I believe that no matter what, your power, your status, how much money you got, how much money you don't have. You and your partner should be a united front when y'all outside in the street. Well, go on at home, go at home. Your private life is your private life. Outside, y'all united front. You correct that person in private. Mm -hmm. So at that moment when she chose not to stand by her side, that okay, that just adds to all. I feel what you're saying. So, so that, that's what we were saying earlier. Like it, but it, but that's a, it's a, mm-hmm. it's a pattern. Like she does that. It, it seems to be, you know what I mean? Uh, consistent. Not saying they shit done consistently to where someone would say like me. So why are you even still there, bro? Because you've been saying this shit for like for some years now on various interviews on your TV show. You make it seem like the shit just ain't ain't working. And even up until this this today, we can still name something where you go against your man in the public. I, we just right. say, hey, why don't you just, you know what I mean? If y'all, just, if y'all can't figure y'all shit out to get on the same page, then why don't y'all just mm-hmm. cut the tie? Because it don't okay. seem to be benefiting y'all. Look at the position y'all keep on getting in when these dumbass situations arise. So clearly y'all not on the same page. As, y'all, as much as y'all would like us to think so, clearly y'all not on the same page. Right. But that, 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 that's all that was. You know what I mean, it's just this weird move. 
but that's what we're moving with, indeed. Uh, with, with, with Chris Rock, you know what I mean? And again, we all know every relationship go through, you know what I mean? All they, all they shit. You know what I mean? Like that's 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 just 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 a part of it. But some things, I like Chris you know Rock's I mean? first uh, special. I like bringing the pain. It's one of my favorites. Nah, you got a new one, a new joint. I don't think it's released yet, though. I think it's recorded. It Oh, did you see the one on Netflix? That's a good one. I like his uh, topics on relationships. That was a good one. It came out like two years ago. It was right after his divorce. Nah, is it? No, no, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I like stand-up so. comedy, man. I watch a lot of stand-up. Oh, crap. Rage in there? Listen, my, uh-huh. my bad. My bad, Regis. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't see you. What you gonna call this, man? Let, let me get you up out of here. Hold on one second. Though. Perfect trouble. Max Julian, how you guys doing? Hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on your time zone. Styles. Styles, where the fuck you been? I feel like I ain't seen you in forever, bro. Yeah, it's good to see you out here. I, you love to see it. <laughs> What's going on? Nah, man, we back, man. Hold on, hold on. We, we got you. Let me get to, get to your other two so we get you caught up. Ah, oh, this shit again. Okay, okay, <laughs> all right. Um, all of this comes down to Jada Pinkett is a fucking demon. <laughs> Not uh, a demon. that is all. I don't feel like I need to explain. Like we we watch this shit. Uh, he got one more. Yeah, yeah um, I don't think that's the right connotation for you to take a uh, perfect trouble with the whole like men or black men not protecting their women. Like, it was a joke. Nobody like assaulted her or like talked bad about her. And the bitch was really looking like Jimmy Moore and G.I. Jane. That, that's the thing that we have to get. Like, the biggest victim. And all of this fucking Chris Rock, Jada Pinkett, Will Smith slap shit is comedy. Like, whatever happened to Sticks and Stones? I would say the biggest victim is Will Smith. I think Chris is mad enough to to have, and he handled the situation like a man. Will Smith made a very bad choice that he's been known as this good guy all damn near all his career. And this wrong choice he made is going to make people look at him a certain way, whether he likes it or not. And it's just what it is. And uh, what's going on now? What's going on, money? Down here? You know, it is what it is. So that's my thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's something that they, they got to live with. But again, we were just talking about they, the relationship, you know what I mean? Actually, like moving on past the, the incident. So we had got past the incident and trying to, you right, know what I mean? That's right. talk about if they should. Man, is they gonna work this shit out or what the fuck they gotta do? Cause it's clearly some pain there. So that's what we was later on in the conversation. Uh, when when you joined Max, so like, come on, man, like, is y'all mm-hmm. gonna fix this shit? Just move on, cause clearly we had talked about Will and him being hurt first, and then we got on Jay, like, man. So that, that that's what we was when you hopped in. Like, why don't you? If only we were like close friends with them. Nah, and, and that's what we're and call them. Like, where are they friends at? Like, where's your friends at? If if they don't like the way Jada moving as a woman to say anything, I saying that you have to listen. But where's your friends to give you this advice and back and forth and you know what I mean? Or, or that, that type of shit like that? Like, because normally your female mm-hmm. cousins, female sisters, your aunties, and aunties. You know what I mean? If they don't like the way your woman moving, they probably gonna, say, hey man, yeah, there's some weird shit going on, man. What's going on? Like I Again, said, I we don't we don't know. What they're saying. We don't know the ins and outs. We don't know. We don't know what made this masterpiece. We don't know. We just know it's there. We don't know what paints. We I, only see the colors. I, I think you part know? of this open marriage is, is what's making this <laughs> shit. I think part of this open marriage is. I think I think Will might be getting to a point where it, it's not working. It's not really. You know what I mean? Because you can have an open marriage, but what if it gets to the point where you're not? You're not. I in, mean, technically, the marriage thing. isn't really truly I open. Know. I mean, they both had concubines. That's why I said that's, that's why I'm putting it on, it's on both of them. That's how they like right. they got a relationship like, with their marriage. So it was like it wasn't a marriage. mistress, you know, it was like a concubine. No, which is why I never said nobody cheated. But it's what I'm saying. So let's say you got an open relationship. But now y'all get to the point where you at a maturity and an age level to where maybe you're not really going outside of your relationship anymore. But she still is. 
You don't think that might cause it? I'm not saying we'll not. I think that might cause an issue right there. I think the issue was when August L. Cena caught feelings. That was the issue. And he and knew what the fuck it was. With, he he, he knew what the fuck it was. He I mean, knew what the fuck it was. Because I'm assuming she, I, you know, know what she, I have. That and I don't think he's but, like but like I said, Will wasn't around. He's doing these movies and things. So she going to have the time to talk. And that's her son's friend, right? So if her son is in yeah, the mix, they talking and shit, they vibing and this and that, right? But the thing, about, like I said, you know, I'm, I, I, I don't think your son's Jada, friend? And then you went on TV and said your son's friend, August Alcina, is ha- is mentally ill. So you sleeping with your son's friend who's mentally ill. That's crazy. Man. Who isn't mentally ill? <laughs> Listen, man. But according to him, uh, he was he going through his nervous breakdown and things. They invited him. This, this, was, this was what they said on the Western Call, which Will like he had been crying all night. This nigga, I eyes were bloodshot red. And he could I don't even talk. think he was crying because uh, of that. I think he was... He had his eyes were like that because he had to force himself to sit down for them views. They had, you could tell they probably came into an understanding like, all right, look, we're gonna do this shit, put the cat out the bag so we can get these views Wait. and get that money. Well, in, in honesty, I don't think it was about the views. So, in, 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 a, in a retrospect of what happened in hindsight, she looked bad. The world, bro, you know, Red Table Talk mm-hmm. is one of the most viewed shows on Facebook. Now I wouldn't know that because I, I don't watch I don't watch Facebook. I, mean, <laughs> I go on Facebook. Bro, I go to the It's one of the. It's one I'm of not the, saying it's not. It's one of the most like so they're they're doing it for views. I mean, why it's a, it's a lucrative move to make for views I mean, and for the it, like I, people gonna I, always I, tune in because I don't of that. I don't believe it was about the money though. That's what I'm trying to say. If I'm if I'm trying to get something out, I can go to the Oprah show, not thinking like oh Fuck man, Oprah. It's, fuck it's, it's, a, it's about the money. It, it's about it's about. Getting my getting the word out to the masses, and this is a platform to do so, right? The world wasn't rocking with Jada after August Alcina out of the situation. She had interviews on her own show about it, and the world still was like, bro, she fucking over on Will. It wasn't until she brought Will on to that's some square shit up. though. That's oh, some no, square we shit. Really wasn't rocking together. Yeah, she was cool to do what she do, and then she fell back into a good pocket. It, it was a, it was that's a, some a, square a, shit though. That's like. That's like some square shit. Like you got motherfuckers all over the world that some squares telling you how you should live your life when they can't even sit on the table. Like that's so funny to me because it's like, it's like if I got a situation with my girl, right, and we got our own understanding and agreement, and they don't know we playing chess, and the motherfucker be like, "Oh, why you made that move, nigga?" Because I'm playing chess. So why the fuck would you? Like it's like, and see that's the thing. The, Motherfuckers be thinking they know it. If you want to live your life in the public, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take the good with the, you gotta take the bad with the good. When you want to live your life in the public, right? But emotions are emotions, and if emotions are being made and people are feeling a type of way, that's something some people cannot control. I mean, I that why that's why I call it a nervous breakdown because I bet if Will Smith, Will Smith said it, he didn't. That was an emotional, like, state of mind he was in. When people, see, you, like, bro, that's like when motherfuckers kill somebody and go to jail and be like, oh, my fucking God, I realized that was stupid. I was in a stupid place and I like to do that shit. Why did I do it? I didn't need to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you a grown-ass man. Wrong choices are for children. You know, nobody got nobody got time to make wrong choices. That's why you got a mind and you think before you do things. But at that moment in time, he probably was going through a lot. And you got to think about it, too. A lot of people be forgetting this shit. The nigga, well, you know what I'm saying? He, you listening to all these people. You a bitch. Why you, why you with this hoe? You was a scrub. You was a cup. You was this and you was that. You was this and you that. And he was like, you know what? I'm fucking sick of this shit. I'm about to, I'm about to show a motherfucker I ain't the one to play with. I don't give a fuck if it was a joke or not. Fuck it, I'm going to make a statement. And it went the fuck off. And now the statement is all the other comedians calling your wife bitches and hoes and shit. And they gonna do it. Rightfully so. You know, <laughs> with every reaction. So with work. every reaction. And that's the thing about chess. With every reaction, there's an equal or opposite reaction. You gotta deal with it. You gotta make that's why you gotta make the right moves and be prepared for the the, the um the thing that's gonna come with it. If you do something stupid, be prepared to deal with the shit that's gonna come with it. 
and, and that's why I'm saying we'll end up having to do weird table talk. It, it was a move, so, so they don't they don't look as crazy. Oh, tell them, baby, we weren't even together. Yeah, she right, we wasn't together. Because we'll believe Will, but the world wasn't believing Jada. <laughs> No, we all past the incident and stuff, but like, can we acknowledge the fact that Will Smith and Jada had no reason to be at the Oscars at all because King Richard was a shit movie? Like, this movie was so bad. I wiped my cheeks with it. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I never watched the movie. Nah, it, it, was, it was decent. I, I said earlier, Pursuit of Happiness was way, his acting in Pursuit of Happiness was way better than this. I don't know why he got an Oscar. Well, movie. let's be Maybe real. Was, the right time, was the Training right Day you know, Denzel's best movie? No. Uh, I wouldn't I would, I would, I would say best movie, but I would say it's one of his better, his better action jobs. Hell no. Nah. I wouldn't say best movie. Me but most people that get Oscars get them like years later like most people that's why I'm, man, I can't believe he got a, a Oscar for that shit like this nigga made all these great movies you know what I'm saying one of my favorite what's that movie when uh, Denzel played the boxer uh, 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 Hurricane that's what he should have got an Oscar I love Hurricane Hurricane that's one of my favorite joints Hurricane Fire but I don't know man it just seemed like they want to see like but well his I'm not going to say his Oscar was well overdue, but you gotta think about competition too. Pursuit of Happiness was a great fucking movie, but I don't know what he was going up against that year, or even if he was in the topic of discussion. But I, 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 mean, can, I can't believe to somebody. He, he, he had he had some comp that year. He had some comp with Seven Pounds came he, out, and he had some comp with uh Seven Pounds was weird. I didn't like that movie. This nigga killed himself with a jellyfish. I remember mean, texting uh, to my guy. We, we, we was debating that. And I was like, nah, I don't think he should have asked for this joint, but I also don't know. Where I bet he thought he was going to get an Oscar something. when he was kissing that white man. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. What am I going to say? Yeah. Yeah, I, thought he, he th- I bet he thought a lot of people, they think uh, when they do certain things, that makes them Oscar worthy. No, it's about your, your talent. You don't have to go against the rain. But, uh, yeah, man. Shout out the positivity, though. God damn it, did I delete that? I know I didn't delete it. Yeah. Well, the list? Yeah, I had, I had sent it to my guy because we, we was debating in the message. Dang. But no. Whatever. I still stand on what I say. I believe that your marriage, yeah, your relationship, with your significant other, the two of you should always be a united front, no matter what. United front. I, I was, but I was trying to remember what word it was. <laughs> a united front. Okay. In, 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 the, in the public, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. But when yeah, you get home, people don't, don't be. We like when you get home, like for instance, my previous relationship. When when I broke out with my boyfriend, mm-hmm. my daddy was like, "Well, what happened, baby?" And he didn't know I've been tagging that nigga ass day in and day out. Like, we just was <laughs> violent. And th- it just had to be let go. And, like, but, you know, my dad just was like, well, what happened? Because when we go outside, everything good. And if you ask me, oh, we good. And at home, we, <laughs> The we United talk- Front was putting up a front. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what go on inside my four walls is ain't nobody business. That's not for the public. You know what that reminds me of? There was y'all ever seen the movie The Godfather? Yeah. There was a part where the uh, sister was fighting with her husband, and the mama was like, "No, don't interrupt, don't interrupt her with her husband. Don't do that." But he wound up interrupting with his sister. Came back with them fucking bruises. He whooped the nigga ass. Oh, well, right. I never come back with no bruises, so. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like whatever, like, you know, people don't know, like, still all the things that went on in our relationship, because it ain't nobody's business. That was between us. 
It ain't nobody business, well, like, but it should it like, shouldn't be violent though. No, it shouldn't be violent. That's well, like, what it's like, Cause I after like the third time, energy. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna quit fighting you. I'm just gonna leave. Absolutely. And I think I think that that's what you was getting like. Certain things can get out, maybe you know what I mean, uh, with no issues in the public. But other things you wouldn't know about. You know what I mean? Like she might be oh, talking about how, how they you know how she mad, but she ain't gonna talk about how her dude is trying to put the hands on her. She putting the hands on him. I e like. You know, we all got those those uh, females in in a, in relationships. But damn, you don't understand. And then, and then they, they they show up to the to the family dinner with a black guy. Your brother, like, hold on, what the fuck is that? Hold on, this nigga put the. And then they go put the hands on that nigga, get into a shootout or something. Why you do that? That's that man. I'm gonna marry him. Like, what? <laughs> hold on. What? You know what? That would be the crazy shit. Thing, you know. Me and him got street beef because you keep that's like that uh, your house. Nigga, that's like Menace Society with Jada Pinkett Smith. You know, you remember when uh, Kane was fucking with that chick, and she told my son, "Oh, that's the baby." Like, bitch, you lying. And then the brother, the, the brother came, the, the cousin came over, and he they whipped in the guys, and they killed them at the end of the movie. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, so can can Ken and Will some things get out? Yeah, but you just saying like it's the certain things is you can't keep to yourself. <laughs> she keeping nothing. She letting it off. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, uh, a relationship but, but should be a sacred temple. When, when it's in the public, it's go, it's go, you got to take people's opinions with that. Man, I gone, remember it that. was like that with my homeboy. But then I remember one day I was cutting that man hair, and he had fucking dreads pulled out of his hair. I'm like, my nigga, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> and then, yeah, in so many other words, I, he told me, he told me, he told me, absolutely not. I put nobody dreads out. He told me his girl did it, and like in my head, I'm thinking it's some cute shit. And then mom, and like, I, I remember like in the car with them, and she was whipping this nigga ass. And then it was like I know my homeboy, and I know he ain't the type of person. He's not a fighter. He don't hit nobody. And like I remember he would come to me with scratches and shit like that, and he'd be like, "Man, it's okay, bro. Don't worry about it." And then one day he just went off. And like I'm like, boy, you gotta stand up for yourself. And like, long story short, like been trying to like trap him and everything. But you know, sometimes it is good to have friends that you can talk to, or not even talk to, but like when certain shit goes too far, you need people around you that's gonna help you. Because sometimes people do get in too deep, and like they feel like, oh, I'm maybe this person manipulate me, or like whatever the case may be. You just feel like I gotta stay in this, or I wanna stay in this, and it get too from fucking violent. <laughs> You need that outside opinion because in relationships, you're going to always be biased, especially once you're emotionally tied to somebody. You're going to always make up an excuse like, oh, she, she cheated on me, but, you know, uh, she loves me, so I'm just going to say. Right. You're going right. to always be biased. You're going to always be biased in your relationship, especially once you right. love. You're going to, you know what I mean? How many people make up excuses for their partner in different situations or you, um, uh, uh intentionally turn a blind eye when you see certain things being, you know what I mean? Because certain of love. Being made. You turn your, because you, know, you don't really want to see that or acknowledge it because that's going to make oh, you feel oh, and you don't really want to Oh, she loved me. She, she bought me a, a yeah. PS5, my nigga. She loved me, though. So you so you purposely don't pay attention to the shit that you should be paying attention to. You be needing at least one close individual, whether it's a brother or a friend who's like a brother. Or a, but you got to start off with an unbiased with opinion you. because you don't want to come off like, oh, leave that bitch, because you want to give it a, you want to give it a good look before you make a decision and tell your friend something. Because man, this bitch was so controlling. She used to answer all his phone calls. She used to block my number. Man, this bitch was crazy, yo. I mean, this what was a crazy bitch. Name? I'm like, I'm gonna tell you about his family, and it was so sad. Like, she moved herself into the house and everything. They're Do very I? docile. They're very docile people. Like his mama. His grandpa, his sister, and him, they're very like calm spirited people that really kind of just go with the flow with life. They don't really love, they don't like confrontation. I would have given and him a big scale. Man, people really like his sister was in a similar situation with that crazy ass man. But I didn't get into that one because shit, that would have, somebody would have died. But um, yeah. Hold on, now I'm in the chat right quick. Hold on one second. Hey, so, Julian, I see where you're going with that because uh, Denzel got the Oscar for Training Day, 
when I said he should have got it for John Q, man. Like, still to this day, bro. Like, I've only ever cried during four movies, right? Bambi, John Q, Avengers Endgame, and fuck, what's the other one? What's the, oh, yeah, Tombstone. Exactly. Tombstone, when he was like, uh, you know when they say you supposed to see a light at the end of the tunnel? I don't see shit. That made me cry. But yeah, man, like John Q was a much better movie. Anyway, I digress. Back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> you speaking of so, that? So now, uh, I, hey, you didn't try I, to hold on, hold on. I never. I remember, like when I was young, I thought I'd never cry at a movie, nigga. I dropped a thug tear. I was watching that, that movie Higher Learning with Ice Cube, Tyra Banks, Omar Epps. The part when Tyra Banks got shot. My nigga, I tear up to this day looking at that shit. So every time I watch that movie, I, I gotta turn it off. I gotta, I, I, every time, I, I can't believe I cried at this shit, nigga. Every time I see that part, bro, because it was like they were just getting off. They were like, you know, we're gonna have a good life, plan for the future, and this nigga just do that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Not Tyra, nigga. No. Oh man. Goddamn. All right, well, one second, yo, he got, he got three of them in there. Let me uh, get them out back to back. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. If we go give Will Smith an Oscar, we got to give him a Will Smith an Oscar for Wild Wild West. Because it's just the song yeah. alone. Just, you know, you don't want to see my hand where my hip be at. West, Jim West, Desperado. Yeah, uh-huh. The Wild Wild West. And we roll into the Wild Wild West. Really? Wild Wild West. <laughs> up that movie, they should actually go oh, back and take the Oscar from him. Uh, just disclaimer that that last message was complete bullshit we're talking about will smith that gave me the opportunity to sing the wild wild west song and at any opportunity that i get to sing the song from wild wild west i will take it back to our regularly scheduled program all right you got one more to three hold on all right so here's a moment where the la styles is like yo what the fuck is wrong with you knobs Bro, I've never seen Waiting to Exhale. I've had multiple opportunities to see Waiting to Exhale. I just it it just never appealed to me. You know, like oh, like I'm watching a movie about like people cheating and shit. Bro, I, mean, I, I can shit. watch that shit at home. No, no, oh, that's I, I my movie. That, so. But it's, it's lead us to the female, man. <laughs> you should be watching that as a man. Waiting to Exhale and I'm fucking. Movies, uh, that's like a guilty pleasure movie. Like that's that's like like the the male kind of to a degree the male version of that for us would be like four brothers. That oh, or that movie. other one. What was that other movie with like fucking Terrence Howard and all them niggas? Not the best man. Was it the best man or the, the wood? No, no, it was the best yeah. man. With Terrence Howard. Best man is a. Uh... No, the, the best man had a uh, Tay Diggs and more. And Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard was the best Howard man. Yeah, yeah, he was the best man. Remember, he been the friend with the guitar. Hey man, I can play guitar. Oh yeah, man. that did had to do with the grid. The Terrence the Howard. Pro, pro, mini pro, whatever you had. Okay. Man, man, I always wish <laughs> Terrence Howard would have stayed. <laughs> For the stage being uh Rhodey from Iron Man. I, I I like uh what's his name? Uh Don Cheeto. Yeah, I would say yeah, I like Cheeto, but like that when 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 Terrence Howard had the little flat top, he looked just like Rhodey from the comic books. I mean look just like him. Not saying Don Cheeto isn't a good I mean fuck you put the suit on your your fucking war machine, but my nigga any short. My nigga. Don Cheeto. Who would have thought? Hey, you love, I want to see Don nothing, Cheeto like play like... I want to see Don Cheeto play like... Like, you know, there's certain people that always do serious roles, but they got funny faces. Like Anthony Mackie. Every time he do a serious role, I'll be like, man, get this goofy face-ass nigga out the fucking way. But every time when he do funny shit, 
this nigga's hilarious. Like this nigga Anthony Mackie need to do. He need to be the next black comedic actor. Like I think he could be on some like Will Smith. Because the nigga funny. Like he's fucking funny. But he they always put him in these goofy ass roles. Like why the fuck was he Clarence in Eight Mile? Like he looked like one of them niggas that when you slap him he cry. Like when he too serious. Like how this nigga motherfucking play funny shit, man. Hey, he, he looked up too. That's how you got a. That's how you got a thousand. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga Anthony Mackie said, I was, I forgot what, what I was watching. That nigga was laughing and uh, that nigga was saying something goofy and he started. He said, "Hey, bro," and he what he said, he said some stupid shit and he started laughing in the nigga face. I said, "Bro, this nigga Anthony Mackie." Like I think it was about when I, when he first was in the movie scene, he was only playing these fucking hood ass to the fucking DVD movies. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this goofy looking ass nigga trying to be hard? Man, get the fuck off the screen, man. Turn this shit off. Yeah, damn. Oh shit. I'm on three but the four brothers is good too. Shout out to uh Andre two thousand. Oh, what the fuck? What was the uh, the part on the four brothers when, when old boy when they was on the little ice thing and uh old boy was talking that shit your boy from twelve years of slave he was talking that 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 uh that big Willie shit man y'all niggas need me <laughs> nigga left the stupid ass in the what you call now what's the uh damn what the fuck is the movie yeah. Maybe for, uh, is it your brothers? Let me see. I think I, uh, this nigga's favorite movie is Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> nah, you watching that? You, you, you <laughs> Trouble. What's your favorite movie, Trouble? Trouble like anything with Trouble. More violent. My favorite movie? Yes, ma'am. The Wood? The Wood. That's a funny movie. Paul when Tate, I ain't gonna lie, your girl was looking for a bitch in that movie. You remember when your girl, when Tate Diggs went to your girl house, when he was drunk as a motherfucker? Your girl who played, uh, Day Day Baby Mama. Tamara. Oh. Tamara. That's her name. <laughs> Tamara Harris? Is that the, is it the last name? Don't make me lie, he. Oh um. my god, she was looking so Good nigga. Yo. She one of the first women to uh make me infatuated with, with uh belly buttons and shit. And stomachs. Pamela and Jones, stomach that's the damn shit. shit. Yeah, she was looking delicious in that movie. I would have risked it all for her too. You know. You she that bad. type of woman. You know, she that type of woman too that bring it up to have you at her house and she'll let you in and you'll talk all that shit. Pour your whole heart out. You're like, damn, I can't believe I did that. She be like, all right, I'll see you next time. And you leave like you left some. You leave the crib like you left some. And you look, you look in your, you look in your heart. You know like, oh, that bitch gone. The fuck? Bitch no more. Damn. Oh. Stacy was OP yeah. in that movie though. That's one of his hmm? better acting roles. Stacy. Oh, you talking about your boy? Uh, what? Uh, what Harry? What, what his name is? DeAndre. I was a bald nigga, right? No, that been the yeah, brother with the with the Jerry curl. With the curl. Oh, oh, oh! You talk about your boy? That nigga's funny. He's a good actor. He's underrated. That nigga. Uh, what that nigga said? What he said? The story. He said, "Don't say my name, nigga." Damn. So, so, some people don't have like. Oh, well, they, they didn't make it to that level, but they didn't have like a role for them that was just like A1. Him being Stacy is one of them, and dude who played Old Dog in uh. Oh, no, Fire. no, he's a good actor. He's, he he did pretty good. I like him in Dead President. No, no, no. I, I, no, I, I ain't saying he did. I'm saying the people who didn't make it to those A lists, they, they had roles. It was like, dude, that's. But you can't, can't compare Stacy to Old Dog. No, no, I'm, I'm not comparing them at all. I'm, I'm saying. Each individual, those roles like was for them. Like dude play Stacy, like he's in that movie. Y'all, they got him in that show. What's that show um about LA and um uh, 
uh, what's it called? Uh, Snowfall. They got him in Snowfall. I, I still never started Snowfall. I like that BMF um, with your girlfriend. At. What's her name? Uh, oh, Cash Dog. She playing hey. as somebody, baby mama. <laughs> Here, we're about to make a separate one. My phone's going to die on y'all. Well, no, we can call it a night. I got to go be a parent. Oh, God, <laughs> Hold on, I've got one. Hey, peeps, I appreciate y'all like listening to my bullshit, but I got to go get prepared for a show I got coming up. I'm going to get together with a bunch of the homies, and we're going to talk about like all the shit that matters in life. Wrestling, oh. semi-legal drugs, and Jason Statham movies. Stay them forever. Stay them forever. Anyway, hey, y'all have a wonderful, beautiful evening. Have a great rest of your show. You stay safe. You stay blessed. You stay humble. You stay as awesome as you always are. Nabs 313, out. All right, with that Kia, I'm gonna let you go. What's the what's the blog for people to go check out again? It's just as Kia. You can find it on Instagram or Facebook. My name is the same on all platforms. It's as Kia. No underscore. Just as Kia. Just as Kia. Oh yeah, I think there's underscore underscore as Kia. But on Facebook, it's just as Kia. All right, with that, we're gonna get up out of here. It's your boy, L.A. Styles, live from L.A. with your girl, Askia. Perfect trouble. Thanks for Perfect having me. Uh-uh, don't do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Sometime, you know what I mean, in the in the very near future, she's going to bring up the info straight from Jada, you know what I mean, and share it with everybody so we can we can get the inside scoop. That's her job. It uh, is not. On stereo. I do not want to talk to that lady. She need therapy and not me. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be you the therapist have a good day. What? You have a good therapist for You don't think you make a good therapist? I did not counselor. further my degree. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, because I didn't. Um, I realized quickly that I don't want to. I don't. You don't need twenty sessions to solve your problem. I'm a logical person, so that profession doesn't work out for me. I only have sympathy for children and the elderly. You middle-aged folks, listen, get it together. You got one opportunity. Talk this out. Tomorrow we should have solutions. <laughs> That's gonna work. They got twenty-five years of trouble though. Huh? They got twenty-five nope. years of unpacking to do. They don't need more than one session. That's why I did not advance my career. <laughs> so Mark, we should have solutions. Here's the thing. If you 30, still hopping on the things that happened in your childhood, baby, it's, it's, it's time. Let's talk about it. Get it out. Confront the people you need to confront. And let's move forward. Let's talk about progressing and all those things. Healing is an everyday task. However, choosing to stay in that moment... That gives them people more power than you will ever have over yourself. And that's ridiculous. We're not doing that. Uh, Therefore, uh, I only work with the elderly and children because, you know, at 35, I can't literally, like, if you've been broken for 32 years, I can't necessarily say to you, all right, I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you three days to talk about your problems. Come Friday, we need solutions. You know, I can't say that. (laughs) <laughs> They're not gonna come back, <laughs> and the best customer is a reoccurring one. So <laughs> no, I can't. That's what I'm saying. That's what you gotta drag it out. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Cause man, why are you still crying? It's day three. Because because on day one y'all only got through the first two years. You still got mm-hmm. you still got another twenty three years. You know what I, mean? I need a synopsis. I do not need your life story. Uh, because how long is your session gonna be? The session only be like a thirty minutes to an hour. That's not enough to, to tell you the synopsis on what's really bothering me over twenty five years. Two hour blocks. So how many two hour blocks would you get if, if I got twenty years of baggage? That's how many sessions is that? 
say two okay. hours. Okay, if you got 20 years of baggage and two hours, I need year one through 10. What? I don't know. <laughs> That's not even long enough to talk about the Yes, it is. I'm not playing those games. That's exactly why I did not advance my career. You think I'm not? Here's the thing. We all had things that happened that we were not happy with as a childhood. But at the end of the day, at 35, what I understand about my parents who were born in the 60s is that the things that we're experiencing or experience, they had no awareness of. Therefore, I extend grace and I move on. Everybody doesn't think like that. And I'm not going to be good to you telling you that you need to think like that. So... I choose not to. Because why, like, for instance, I had something very traumatic happen to me at 15. What I do know is not my mother's fault. It's not my daddy's fault. It's nobody's fault. Life happens. And you deal with it accordingly. But harping on it or just at 35, that's not where I'm at. I'm I'm over it. <laughs> really over it. We talked about it. We discussed it. That's what, you know, I went to therapy for it. I'm over it. Like, so I can't. how long, how long, how long in your therapy session did it take you to get over that? One or session. Just to process that? So here's me. Once I don't get it out, I'm done with it. I'm over it. Once I've spoken on it, I'm over it. But I'm that's how I've always been. Like, now, things that bother me long term is because I never said anything. And that just means, like, things that, like, for instance, my nine to five. You know? You gotta keep some shit in in order to keep feeding your family. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> you know, those are the kind of things that get on my nerve because I can't say nothing. I can't react the way I want to when S- Sally getting on my nerve. Nothing. But She's outside of work? No, she just... You know how... Yo, women, y'all getting catty in the workplace? No, I don't get catty because I don't come here to make friends. I come here to make money. And that was our problem. She was like, well, you don't ever talk to me. I don't ever have anything to say. That's right. Are you a customer? What was it? You want to go for drinks after work? Absolutely not. I'm going home to my kid. You don't even come. You don't even come to the company mixes. Why would I do that? I am one of two black people here. You're not. You see how many black people come into situations with a ton of y'all, and then they come up missing. I choose not to engage. <laughs> but you know, you can't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> then they won't call. Then they won't call you racist. I just can't. No, it's it's not worth it. You definitely I come make, off as racist. I make I make decent money, and I just shut the fuck up because I can't. But that's what I be thinking. How many situations where, for instance, I bought a house last year. The neighborhood we live in, there are three other black families around here. My son doesn't understand why his friends can sleep over here, but he can't sleep over there. So that's the world we live in. Because it's too many situations where it's our children being sent into these situations where they're what they're Caucasian counterparts and coming, they not coming back. And unless there's about 20 houses in my neighborhood total, and unless they want this inside neighborhood blown up, I'll just keep my child home. So that is. He can't, I don't allow him to sleep out to people's house that I'm not so comfortable with. And you just never know in those situations. I just can't be. And don't get me wrong. One of his little friends. When I tell you that man love up on him. Like he birthed him out of his own nutsack. He does. Absolutely. But how many times you get into those situations. Where the immediate family loves you. But you got your relatives. And they come around. And they don't like black people. And they do all the most. I'm not y'all because I'm going to hold you responsible for treating my baby as your own so no we just skip all of that we ain't even got to go through that yeah, okay y'all so 
Uh, Kia got some unpacking to do. You know what I mean? Clearly, she's uh, crazy. I am not. So, we're going to let y'all. Facts is facts. Right, y'all gonna... watch the news every day. You gonna you gonna be on red table talk soon? <laughs> yeah. Gonna be, so you don't want I live in Georgia. Three years ago, a lady went out for drinking a girls' night with her seven girlfriends. Only she ended up dead. We not playing those games. I've been carrying a gun since I was 16. Do we want to play this game? <laughs> no, just you playing the game. You're <laughs> right. I'm, I'm not playing. I see. At the end of the day, you always say it's either me or you. It's never going to be me. So, there we are. And because I know my temper, life is about knowing yourself. And you have to know yourself. And I know me well. And... You know, people like to be like, they change. I've grown up. I have a lot more to lose. Therefore, I don't participate. That doesn't mean that if you take me there, I won't go there. So, so I stay away. Of one to ten on crazy. What's your level of crazy? I am not crazy at like, no means. I'm aware and Everybody I'm cautious. Like, I, all women crazy. Come on, be it. Stop it. I'm aware you, and cautious. I am not just, crazy. You just put your hands on, on me back in the day. You crazy. I mean, we was just tussling. <laughs> we was tussling. Something. Okay. That you always come out on the good side of it. Um, yes. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Why would I do that? You know what I'm saying? Think about, think about <laughs> that now. Okay, I'm very tall for a girl. I'm five nine and a half. Um, yeah, no, we're not playing those games. I don't. <laughs> what first game? of all, <laughs> you, you don't want that that's the one to hang. I'm almost six feet, and I don't date men that aren't shorter than six two, six three. So, um, if he hit me, I might go flying. So I gotta attack first. But you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to attack at all. You gotta attack first. <laughs> You don't have to take it all. Listen, point. if we into it and you be like, I ought to pop your ass. What? Now I got to swing first because what if you hit me for real? I'm light skin. I might bruise. If you know you're not going to hit me for real. I don't know that. You do that after the first time. You shouldn't it's make the same threat. Move. You, shouldn't, you shouldn't make the threat. What I tell y'all, after the third occasion, I was like, okay, we got to part with you. That's, that's getting out of hand. The yeah, first time, you're like, oh, this ain't <laughs> never going to happen again. The second time, you're like, damn, it happened again. The third time, you're like, all right, that's a choice. We making the continuously be in this state, so I got to go. That's life, yeah, man. Go I learned from my mistakes. I ain't going to say I was I right. Also. I'm just saying it happened. I'm not crazy. I would never own that. I would never claim that. I <laughs> <just saying. laughs> I'm aware and I'm cautious. And I may react differently than others. That's all. That's but life... Too, yeah, life happens to all of us. And, you know, we choose to deal how we deal. Didn't we just talk about that? Mm-hmm. For every action, there's a reaction. Now, I know after I swing, I probably could still get knocked across the room, but if I connect it first, you know, you might, you might shock, be shocked a little bit and chill out. That's it. That's all it is. That's what I believe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're we going to let Kia go, go be a parent. Yeah, uh, y'all have a great night. Oh, my and God. We'll <laughs> <laughs> Bye, man. Hold on. Are you following the podcast? If not, hit that subscribe button.